day. Trams are gone and the castle's not gray. Chapex run in the show, they say, oh no. There's a reckoning on Wall Street. Analysts turning up the heat. Chapex fudge in the balance sheet. Gotta go. Who can save us? The people sing. In all the parks and at Disney Springs Who has the power to shed some light Bring on the cast of news tonight Save our theme parks, help us win Save us all from the shit we're in JPEG sucks, but I know this can't be the end There's a future and you must know Sunny the rough, but we're you know strong. And Disney the show rose is still the bomb. We love a ride, so Bobby, you don't belong, so get going. Prices and trash cans of boats sky high. Spike the beast for it. For margaritas and fries. Harmony is gorgeous. Just tell me why I get them gone. Yes, the theme parks are on the brink. You pay more, but the portion shrink. Where are the 80s? Eisner and Wells. New team assemble we no one says. From WDWNT Celebration near the Walt Disney World Resort, it's WDW News Tonight with Tom Corliss and Nicholas Cicero. Tonight, a discussion on the unwritten rules at Disney parks. Where in the world is Tom Corliss? Psychotic comments 
the music of piano Rob, and more. I'm Nick Cicero. Now, here's your host, Tom Corliss. Hello, I'm Tom Corliss, and I can die now that the cold <laughs> open finally ran. All right. This is an on right. There you go. <laughs> Please hit the like button, subscribe, and if you're really enjoying this nonsense, you can leave us a super chat right here on YouTube. Your donations will be given this Sunday during the collection at the Church of Imagination. <laughs> oh, well. When they pass the, the basket around. You know. Yeah. Wow. Uh, by the way, that'll be on iTunes, I think, tomorrow. I think I read that on our site. <laughs> the official soundtrack, I think, of our music. <laughs> I may have got my wires crossed. I'm not. Oh, I think it's boy. out tomorrow. I have no idea. Yeah. I'm glad that's done. <laughs> and you, and you call this that. the dumbest show. Huh? Is, and you call this the dumbest show. Yeah, Look at absolutely. Us. After this that, is great. yeah. Although there is another thing tonight that Rob message, Piano Rob messaged me and goes, this is the dumbest thing we've done so far. <laughs> so we'll see if it, if it might be topped tonight. Yes. In we, fact, we, we've, we've uh, enhanced the dumbness. You're yeah. Welcome. Oh, for sure. I, I don't say this often, folks, and I know we left you waiting awfully long tonight, but I think we actually have a good show tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. We have that ridiculous cold open. We have Where in the World is Tom Corlow? Someone in our audience has a chance to win a four-night Walt Disney World Hotel vacation tonight, courtesy of Be Our Guest. Yeah, that's going to happen. Also tonight, we're going to discuss the unwritten rules of Walt Disney World and... Uh, then there's going to be, at some point, that thing that Rob said is the dumbest thing he's done so far, and it was not that cold open. Nah. Believe it's, it's worse than that cold open, folks, oh, so stay I'm tuned for that. Better. Huh? I said we're better. I mean, it depends, you know, it's, it's like The Office, right? Do you like that kind of cringe comedy? You know, it's like so bad, it's good. Then you've turned why, into the right show. why we're here. Yeah. I'm going to take, it's very hot in this hat. I'm going to take this off. Woo! Man. Anyway. So how was, what was that? Did it? I have to fall over. How dare you? How dare you take the name of our Lord in vain? Did it live up to expectations, Tom? What didn't live up to expectations? Meeting, meeting him, meeting your hero. Did it meet? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, nice. Have you not seen the video? It was all over. Oh, the I, did. I did. I was the second guest yes. ever. Yeah. Yeah. People, people, all the other websites are very angry they had to film me meeting Figment. Right. The, the, the food blog and all ears people were not happy. <laughs> they were really Who was not first? happy. Now I'm curious. <laughs> huh? Who was the first guest? Oh, a very nice uh, guy who actually reads our site. He was, okay. he, was, he, he was in line before me. I was very happy he got to go first. So was, was he there and then he let you cut in? Hey, Tom. No, I'm so we got, this will be, be the story of anything we've ever opened at Disney World. Um, he got there at like 6.30. I got there at like 6.40. And so I was like, are you at the front of the line? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the line. I was like, great, I'll be behind you. And so I'm behind him. And then Disney shocked me. For the first time in history, cast members came out and didn't say there wasn't a line. They said, oh, this is the line. And then they sent people with wands to the end of the line what? to enforce the line. And I said, this is too good to be true. This can't happen. This is unreal. They moved us up orderly. They, let, they told everyone to walk in the line to World Showplace, and we did. And then five minutes later, a manager screams, fill in all the available oh, space. Oh, boy. Of course, it was too good to be true. Um, but those of us, like the first 10 of us were like, we all know who was here and when. We're all, we're, we're in this together. We started claiming we were a family of 10 <laughs> at the front. We're like, we're all the Corliss party. We're all together. Um, but we made it happen. It was very, I, I was very excited. I, I was a little emotional. It was very... Who's been, has everyone been to meet Figment yet? None of you? Get out. All of you, all of you get out. I can't believe this. I'm gonna turn this whole show upside down. No one's gone? Is there anyone else in this room that's been? I thought we were getting to go home early. <laughs> oh, we got one, all right. You can stay. You can <laughs> wow. Man, you, a lot of repenting needs to happen in this studio. Anyway. Nick, you went to Disneyland. I did. How was Disneyland? You know, it was great. It was great. No, I, I've never the been. The way you let in the, you, you know, <laughs> it was great. Like, I was going to be like, it was terrible. I've never been there Halloween before. So it was my first oh, time really? seeing uh, Haunted Mansion Holiday and, and Cars Land all Halloween? decorated. Halloween? 
Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah, I loved cool. it so much. That it's, it's a great time of year to go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You were here last week. I don't know what to talk to you about. Uh, yeah, no, not much. You just spend at Horror Nights every night. Yeah. yeah. Well, as many as I can. Yeah. I guess the like I, I did get one of those trees from the Snow White scary trees. Oh, the big that the big fun. resin tree. Yeah, that yeah. was that was that was fun. I actually got it back in my suitcase in the box. So it's a it real like, big box. Yeah, it's a huge box. Yeah, yeah. That's so, cool though. Yeah, it was really yeah. cool. If you haven't seen it, we have it on the site. It's it's a it's a flight of of apple cups. Yes. Poison apple cups and a Snow White tree with a spooky face. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah cool. So everybody was there for that. There was. You I know, I got a drunken get... phone call when everyone was buying them. Yeah, you could barely get into the lounge. Yeah. You want one? Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you even call and ask me? You know the answer is I want one. Whatever it is, it doesn't... It says first edition. That should have been enough. That was it. You know if it says first edition, you need to buy it for me. That's it. It's done. People still call and ask if I want things. Anyway. <laughs> But you had a good time? I had a great time. Okay. Yeah. It was a good good vacation. Cool. Very, very quiet there. Like low wait times. Nice. Yeah. 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 That's what happens cool. when you price people out. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. But it's a good time to go. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? What was that song? Mm. Oh, that, that was the the stock price shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> the stock price shuffle. Streaming's not going well. Uh, should we do the news? News. Since we're already very late and we have an hour-long game show, we should probably do this. Destination D23 was this past weekend. Anyone go to that? <laughs> also, you you can stay. <laughs> uh, boy, there were some Disney theme park announcements this weekend. Good or bad? Yes. I don't know, it's very mixed. Yes. Disney... <laughs> Disney revised their blue sky plans for Animal Kingdom, which now will not have lands for Zootopia nor Moana, uh, but rather Encanto and Indiana Jones. Yeah, they're trying this opposite thing. Since people complained about the first two lands, they're like, what if we put in movies no one went to see in the movie theater? Like, just no one paid to see these. These have got to be more popular. Anyway, the plan, you want to just get that out of the way now? Go ahead. We didn't even have one last week. You missed it. It didn't no. play last week. That doesn't mean there were no bad jokes. Were they all bad? They, were they all bad? Were they good last week? Yeah. They were all about one news story. Oh. Do you know what the news story was? No. Uh, Bob Chapek. Oh, the, okay. The hippo petting and yes. all that stuff. Yeah. Nice button, by the way. What was that? Nice oh, this button. button? Yeah, someone, yeah. one of our Wigs members gave us Shut Up Joe button. Yeah. We all have them. It's great. Anyway, back to the news. If the plans come to fruition, Dinosaur at Animal Kingdom will be replaced with an Indiana Jones ride. <laughs> one, one boo. Indiana Jones at Animal Kingdom. How does that fit into Animal Kingdom? Well, it's the, it's the we named the dog Indiana Jones <laughs> Adventure. That's the yeah. It's his dog in a hat. Anyway, I'm joking. The ride will actually be themed uh, to an unauthorized field trip uh, Indy takes with his college students. <laughs> I'm not authorized. <laughs> <laughs> Nick liked that one. Got one. Uh, Josh Namaro didn't provide many details on the ride, but uh, he was heard saying, the queue is already a museum. This will be cheap. <laughs> nah. yeah. Man, do you think the ride is Indiana Jones going after an iguanodon yelling that he belongs in a museum? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Just like he tries to remove the dinosaur <laughs> before the carnotaur head pops out. Disney is going to build a Zootopia attraction at Animal Kingdom, uh, but it will be a show that replaces It's Tough to Be a Bug. Oh. <laughs> Another boo. <laughs> yeah, it's the first attraction overlay where Disney will fumigate rather than do demolition. Uh. Uh, Zo you know, Zootopia is getting a trackless ride at Shanghai Disney. They tried to overlay Dinosaur and EMV ride. Now they're doing the It's Tough to Be a Bug show. Man, Disney really is going to, oh, 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 try everything. <laughs> uh, we do have some info that wasn't released, though. One of the food kiosks outside of the Tree of Life 
is going to get an overhaul theme to Zootopia. It's going to be a beer stand called Judy Hops. <laughs> Thanks. Test Track is set to be reimagined at Epcot and will take inspiration from the World of Motion. Yeah. Yeah, it'll have all the scenes from World of Motion added back in, but you go past them at 65 <laughs> miles an hour to match the attention span of people today. <laughs> They're like, that was great. You, you see what happened? No, I didn't see what happened. <laughs> Imagineers say the update uh, of the ride will focus on that spirit of optimism from Epcot Center, uh, which, is easy to, which is easy after you have to ride that roller coaster next door, themed to a race of people who don't exist. <laughs> the spirit of Epcot. New concept art for the reimagining was also shared with the ride vehicles getting a sleeker, updated look. Yeah, they, they are like all black and have lights on them. That worked really well for the last update of Test Track. Black paint and lights. Was the entire update. The line, can we go back to last week's model? I'll go ahead and just do that one again. Just do that one. <laughs> the line to meet Figment at his meet and greet for the one of you that went uh, at the Imagination really at Epcot reached five hours. Five hours, yeah. I don't know, his popularity must be dwindling. That's still two hours short of the line for the popcorn bucket. <laughs> I don't know. No wonder they won't fix the ride. They're like, can't even get the line the length for the popcorn bucket. I'm joking, of course. Figment, uh, Figment can just hug faster than college kids can make rainbow popcorn, I believe. Uh -huh. He just does that faster. Anyway, we don't need the rainbow popcorn. Please don't give it to us. <laughs> we don't, no one eats it. Although I did use my Rogers the Musical rainbow popcorn as packing material. That's a true story. We packed country bear statues with Rogers the Musical popcorn. Anyway. After <laughs> yeah, it was that hard, popcorn. <laughs> After debuting, Figment, uh, Figment fell twice. I don't know if people saw this, yeah. Figment yeah. fell twice when entering his meet and greet in the Image Works. Uh, but that was all just an excuse so that he could rise again! What actually happened was uh, Figment came from his house, and because his house is upside down, the transition is real, it's real difficult. It takes a while to get used to the gravity when you come through the tunnel. Uh, actually, you know, he didn't actually fall. Uh, he, he is infallible, as you know. Yeah, he actually was just uh, sending sparks of imagination through the earth. That's what he was doing, yeah. For Pete's sake. I've seen Figment walk on water. Of course he didn't just fall. I mean, it was the journey of water inspired by Moana, but still, I've seen him walk on water. <laughs> anyway. Journey of water inspired by Moana will be opening on October 16th, just in time for summer. Nah. Woo. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. <laughs> Moana will also receive a meet and greet at Epcot the same day, uh, which is definitely as good as a Mary Poppins ride and a festival pavilion that's three stories tall. What a trade-off. <laughs> Meet Moana under an awning. <laughs> Good time. World Celebration and the new nighttime show Luminous at Epcot are both delayed again. Well, now not, uh, neither will open until December. Yeah, not until December. No, we don't have that? Okay, cool. I'll move on. <laughs> there would usually be a clip that plays. Disney <laughs> there does everything on time. There it is. Was that the go. clip? We should have just played the cold open and then just left. I like tried. That's we, that should have been the whole show. Man. The new ride, the new ride share area. Don't don't get excited. A new ride has not <laughs> opened at Epcot. I assure you. But the new ride share area has opened in the Epcot parking lot. It features no seating and no shade. Can we just call this the Toy Story lot? <laughs> A tavern is being added to Pirates of the Caribbean at the Magic Kingdom, and it'll feature the return of Peg Leg Pete, the talking parrot. Yeah. That or we drank too much at the pirate bar. Uh, uh. Parrot's talking to me. <laughs> uh, do we think the alcohol? Do we think? Yes. We think everyone's going to the whole crowd. Yes! yes! Of course they will. I mean, they're really going to turn a children's makeover parlor into the park's first open access bar. 
Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this does make a lot of sense, though, because being drunk is the only way to enjoy the Florida Pirates ride after you've been on any of the other ones. <laughs> you need to, yeah. Don't want to remember which one you're going on. I'm going to grab a pint and some bat rabies. <laughs> Can't wait. Batbeard will be there, I think. Get to see Batbeard at the he'll fly around the bar. <laughs> The original Country Bear Jamboree show, or the 11 minutes that's left of it at this point, uh, will be retired in 2024. And Disney announced a new show where the bears will sing country music versions of classic Disney songs. Yeah. So get ready for Big Al singing How Far I'll Go. <laughs> Trixie will be painted yellow and sing Winnie the Pooh. And Wendell will now perform We Don't Talk About Shooting Our Kids. Uh. So, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All your favorite bears will return, but Liverlips McGrow will now be known as Romeo McGrow. On a separate note, this will not affect the Liverlips entree at Tony's. <laughs> There's no. <laughs> they will continue to serve that dish. Mm. The Island Mercantile Beaver registers were curtained off to be demolished this week at Animal Kingdom. But don't worry, there's still a very intact registry of beavers on OBT. That Orlando <laughs> tourists can visit. You know, the old beaver registry. <laughs> it went, don't ask me what I want for my birthday this year. I have the beaver registry. <laughs> anyway, the walkway. <laughs> it's like Toys R Us. Remember that as a kid? This is, gonna, this is gonna be for the old people watching. They used to hand you this big bulky device that looked like that TI-83 calculator. Yes. And you'd scan the stuff in the store and it put it on your birthday uh, registry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was the thing. That's what you do on OBT, they still use that. <laughs> They're actually from the Toys R Us that close. <laughs> they, got them. they got them from there. I don't wanna grow up. Never mind. The walkway connecting the Polynesian to the Grand Floridian is currently closed due to construction on the new Disney Vacation Club Tower at the former resort. Yeah, anything to keep DVC members from seeing the new tower before it goes on sale. <laughs> Don't. What does it look like? We have this art. Can I see it? No, we don't. <laughs> There's nothing to see. It's very far away. Uh, FDL, uh, FDLE arrested white supremacist Jason Brown of Cape Canaveral this week for hanging anti-Semitic and homophobic signs off of structures at the Walt Disney World entrance. And his arrest was due to a bill that Governor Ron DeSantis recently signed into law. Yeah. Man, I did not see that coming. <laughs> you know, I'm not proud of that joke. It's a Small World at Disneyland will close on October 23rd to receive its annual holiday overlay and also for the animatronic hippo to get some counseling <laughs> from petting. He was apparently traumatized from some petting from a bald man. The world jumping vehicle was shown for the next attraction coming to Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventure. An early peek at the ride vehicle was shared featuring a design that combines elements of Tony Stark's time suits with Xandarian jump points, Wakandan technology, and probably the technology of a French rat, a first order prisoner transport, a ZPD vehicle, the Mystic Magneto, a honey pot, and the run amuck railroad. All that technology will be in that ride vehicle. It'll probably be trackless. It's all they built now. Amidst reports, the track can't break if you don't have one. <laughs> <clears throat> Amidst reports from Bloomberg that Disney is in talks to sell ABC to Nexstar Media Group, Disney has stated they have made no decision on whether or not to sell ABC. But here's to Disney insisting that whoever buys it takes the ABC commissary with them. <laughs> Please. <laughs> you also get this. <laughs> Try the fish. According to a press release shared by Disney, the live action version of The Little Mermaid is now the most viewed Disney movie premiere on Disney Plus since Hocus Pocus 2. But the streaming world, it's a mess. Mm -mm. You see, that's a line in The Little Mermaid. I don't know if you guys have seen The Little Mermaid. There was a, pre no. It's two.
There is two Little Mermaids, yeah. Mm. There's been two of them. So you could have seen the old one or the new one. It's in both. I like that joke. Thanks. Thank, Thank you, Rob. I, I should have put more lemon water jokes in for you this week. Uh, NBC Universal CEO of Universal Destinations and Experiences, Mark Woodbury, has shared that a goal of Universal's epic universe is to get guests to stay at Universal Orlando for a full week. Of course, whether or not Universal guests can come that long uh, is entirely up to their parole officer. <laughs> 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 Uh, uh, At least we think they're funny. Uh, uh, that's good. Anyway. <laughs> that was great. Nice. Woodbury also mentioned the next generation of robotic drones are coming to the park and stated it's the most technologically advanced park we've ever done. This is coming from the company whose newest attraction is a luggage belt you stand on. Uh, so maybe don't get too excited. Uh, we are going to put a vehicle on the luggage belt. Uh, it's, we call it a ride. <laughs> it's crazy. That's the news, thank God. Who brings us the news? This program is brought to you by Wigs, the WDWNT Inner Globe Society. Support WDWNT to get early and exclusive access to content you can't find anywhere else, including exclusive post shows for WDW News Tonight and Park Center, access to our prize wall, a monthly Zoom with Tom, access to our Discord community, early access to our events, and much more starting at just $2 per month. For more information, visit patreon.com slash WDWNT or visit WDWNT.com and click the Patreon link. Join Wigs and unlock even more WDWNT. While we're on the subject of Wigs, I see Rosita, one of our most profound Wigs, is not, a, not enjoying the show as usual. It's surprising. <laughs> it's surprising to hear. Be sure also to tell us, Rosita, in a super chat about our hairstyles. <laughs> Rob, has it grown back in yet? It's, I, I, I like it. I think it's looking good. Okay. <laughs> the ladies watching need, need to see it grow back. We're going to start selling Piano Rob Chia Pets. <laughs> grow them in it. Grow them in home. P -p piano <laughs> Kids, uh, Katie, Chia Pet was a... Uh, never mind. Uh, do we have Wigs members here tonight? Woo! Anyway, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. And we do have a post show tonight, in case you're enjoying the regular show, which you're not. Um, but let's see what's happening this week on Disney+. Plus. What are we streaming? Tune in for The Computer Wore Tennis Shoes and Petted a Hippo. <laughs> <laughs> you know... You see, Katie, the movie was the computer. Wo Never mind. Never mind. Uh, I thought we had a good show tonight. I was wrong. Um, oh, but there is Tom. More, there is more of we it. We got this. There is more of it. No, it's. We're already it's, 51 minutes in. A lot, and there's, and there's a, it's, We've it's been on for all 51 vibe. minutes of that. And there's four hours of show left. Actually. Yeah. Um, so we have a discussion coming up: the unwritten rules of Walt Disney World, and as well. Um, our most incredible game show we've done to date. Where in the world is Tom Corliss? Someone's going to kidnap me at some point tonight. Which yeah! Is welcome. Yeah! I'm, I'm hoping for it at this point based on this crowd. So, <laughs> anyway. Uh, we're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back after this tonight. September the 10th, after years of waiting for our Lord and Savior to return to us, the portal opened and the spark was reignited. My people, he is risen! One little spark of inspiration. God is a purple God. Is that the heart of all creation? God is a purple God. Right at the start of everything that's new.
that belongs to all of us. Support the third coming of Figment now at the Image Works under the crystal pyramids of the Imagination Pavilion. Only in our holiest of lands, Epcot. Any likeness to my voice was done in AI. And it was just my imagination running away with me. Yes, it was just my imagination running away with me. Each day through my window, I watch as she passes me by. say to myself, you're such a lucky guy to have a girl like her is truly a dream come true. my mic on? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, let's find out the Disney Parks incorrect fact of the week. Uh, Figman wow, keeps wow, falling wow. Uh, because there's a manager tripping him, hoping <laughs> to take him down and end the meet and greet so they don't need to put money into the ride. That's what, <laughs> that's what keeps happening. An executive keeps tripping Figman. Poor Figment. Anyway, um, we, I've been told we have a number of super chats. So let's read these. This should only take a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin S. with the blank yeah. super chat. $7.77. Seven? That's kind. Where's Jason with the big styrofoam seven? <laughs> Ooh, bless like... you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> May Figment bless you. <laughs> it's dusty in Girl, there. That's, that's uh, his sparks. Those are sparks of imagination. They're, they're all over the studio. Uh, Colonel Chrome, 499 tonight on the ITM Nightly News. San Francisco Cafe owner files restraining order against van driving stalker. I think the ITM Nightly News got canceled, I believe. Apparently, wow. I, I, I can't confirm this, but someone told me that their news stories may have not been true. What? I, I heard that from someone I'm not sure. Hmm. Uh, Hohenheim Deluxe with Fries, $9.99. Sorry I couldn't be at tonight's show, but I'm on the Galactic Star Cruiser, maxing out my credit card just like Tom said to do. He did tell you <laughs> to do that. Yeah. I said the opposite, but why are you watching us on the Star Cruiser? Go do stuff. Go, go to the bar. The bar is the best. Sammy needs help booth. in the engineering space. God. And then the actual cast member named Sammy, who works in engineering on the, on the hotel, also needs help, I believe. <laughs> they both do. Anyway. Uh, Duke Kaboom, 499. Yeah! Like yeah! Nick, come on. Keep with uh, Doug Rosenthal, 999. Cutting Sam off early. The Eagles lead the Vikings 13 7. 7. Yeah, 7 with 2.33 left in the first half of Thursday night football season premiere. Duke Kaboom, 499. Tom, I'm worried about you, bud. I think that Joe guy is a cable guy. He's kind of dressing like you now. Oh. <laughs> mm. Cable guy? Katie, cable guy was a movie. <laughs> uh, <never. laughs> that used to be how we watched TV. <laughs> there was this cord. <laughs> <laughs> No, not that cable guy. Someone just did a Larry the Cable Guy impression no, in the audience. Not the cable guy we were talking about. Oh, man. 
Uh, Sam Fritz, one and I. Doug, I'm already at war with Nick. I don't need to. Uh, Dr. Marsh. <laughs> 499, a three hour show. A three hour show. Oh, man. Who just said no? Jason's not even here. Jason, <laughs> Jason went to bed before the show started. Uh, uh, Dustin and Kara, $10. I love our WDRNT clock watching. Start uh, time troll fam. <laughs> Uh, just so you know what happens. If we're not starting on time and, and it, it, Jake's just sitting there waiting, Jake just watches your comments and it's very mean. Don't be mean to Jake. Aww. We're trying very hard. By the way, all these super chats came in before we even started the show. So we should start late every yeah. week. Is what <laughs> so we should just start at 9.30. It's, it's the, the super chat half hour yeah. at the, at the <laughs> start. <laughs> WWE Mickey, $5. It's 9.17 and the show hasn't started and it's past Jason's <laughs> bedtime. Yep. Little did they know the opening number. The lyrics to Piano Man? The, uh, <laughs> yeah. the, that other guy, RJ, 499, don't lie to us. Y'all were petting hippos with Aunt Cass instead of starting the show. <laughs> Need to start a betting line on start time. We could do that via, via Super Chat, yes. I'm being told. I'm being told we could, we could do that. Uh, Billy Batson, $22, $20, best opening ever. Yes. <laughs> it was definitely worth all of the drama that was surrounding it. Oh, no. Billy Zika, $10 for the WWNT group singing lessons fund. Oh. Why don't you go back How to being a mosquito you? disease? <laughs> <laughs> He was mean first. We went to the schoolyard right there. Yeah. That's quick. Yeah. That's quick. We're going to have to have a mosquito character now. <laughs> What's the next one? Is, is Billy Coronavirus commenting next? Uh -huh. that's the next one. No, but close. Fungus. Oh. Fungus, Arizona. Wow. 9.99. The cold open was definitely worth the wait. Oh, sure was. Very kind, very sweet. Ashley B, five dollars. I don't know why, but the opening gave me chills. So happy I could tune in live tonight. I assume those were. That's a bad chill. No, I think. No, it's a good chill. Okay. Anyone who survived the Chapek snap remembers <laughs> that moment. Oh man. God. That's what they called it at WDI. I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oof. Rosita Klein, fifty dollars. Love that musical intro. The lyrics so good, and everyone sounded awesome. We did well, Rosita sound was awesome. Nice to us. Oh. Nice. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, Rosita. Awesome. No, seriously. No. Thank you, Rosita. Very kind, very sweet. Thank you. She wasn't nice about my, my monologue, but I didn't even realize we were singing. We did that good. <laughs> so, oh. the oh, first cut. Oh, no. I got the first cut yesterday. <laughs> the rough cut, and they used. They accidentally used. The first take? Yeah. Do you remember what you did in the first take? <laughs> Where you missed your line oh, by 10 seconds yeah. and spoke over someone else? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. We might have to release that one at some point. <laughs> uh, Joe LaBelle, 499, thanks for the button, Scott. Now for someone to make a shirt. 199, 12 flags over Epcot shirts to go. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> correct. I don't know. Eric, go count. <laughs> <laughs> one. We we had to have a use a couple to stop a leak in the sink earlier today. Fungus Arizona is back. Nine ninety nine. Can Nick detail his excursion to Aunt Cass's Bun Factor? Yeah. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't there though. I hung out outside her place for oh, a while, yeah. and she never showed up. That never happens. Like to you. Amac showed up, Hero showed up. Like there was no Aunt Cass. Yeah. I thought she was gonna come out uh, for a meet and greet. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. didn't want to meet me. Yeah, it's a, it's a franchise, so she may not be there. Oh, true. <laughs> Marshall Grayson, $7.77. Seven. Yeah, seven. You all are amazing. Aww. Thank you for making my idea of Corliss the Musical a reality. It truly is an unscrupulous masterpiece. Seven stars all around. So we, gotta, we have to stop Thank on you. this one. This is important. Marshall, and correct me if I'm wrong, Marshall, I think you emailed us two years ago. So that image you see at the beginning is what Marshall sent in two years ago. And I sat there and was like, we don't have the ability to really cover this song. I don't think we can do it, but I love the image. But then Rob started working and I was like, well, now we have a musician. 
None of us can sing still. Uh -huh. But we have a... Sorry, Eric, I know you can sing. But the rest not, of us... Not bridges. The rest of us... <laughs> no one could no sing that bridge. that bridge. That bridge okay. was, was trouble. Um, but, but thank you to Marshall for sending that in. That was the inspiration. I'm glad we finally got to do it. That was a long, a long, long time. Thank you, Marsh. Dr. Marsh. 499, rest in peace, the Dino Institute. May Dr. Seeker and I be greeted at the glass pyramids in the sky by Dr. <laughs> Cynthia Lair. <laughs> Aw. Wow. That's a great message. Anyway. Uh, Fantasia, 499, happy birthday to all. September 14th, birthdays out there. Signed your obedient servant, OG. Okay. Jacinto Rodriguez, 499, this is the best musical arrangement you guys have ever done. Aww. Uploaded to YouTube. I, I think they're asking us to upload it to YouTube. We will. It will be uploaded separately for those of you who like to punish yourself. <laughs> um, you'll be able to watch it over. Everyone else. has to promise not to tell my mom it exists. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if that's high praise, the best musical arrangement you guys have ever done. Uh. I don't know. But I don't know, Rob's arranged several things at this point, so maybe that is high praise. I don't know. Also, Spike the Bee, I mean. Yeah. We didn't arrange Spike the Bee, though. That was just a, <laughs> wasn't that just a, a karaoke track? Kind, kind of. Did you arrange something for that? I, I arranged to have it recorded by <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. A Ducking Wrestling Podcast 999. How do y'all, in honor of the McMahons no longer owning the WWE, Let's get a Tom Explains Wrestling. This week, Tom tells us about the time Vince had a match against his daughter. Have a great show. Oh, yes. um, they had an I Quit match, and he won by choking his daughter out with a lead pipe. Uh, this was so she could go on leave to get married in real life, but they decided the way to write her off television <laughs> was her father would choke her out with a lead pipe. It's a real thing. Look it up, kids. <laughs> Sam Fritz, 499, a 61-yard field goal at the Horn makes it a 13-7 Eagles lead over the Vikings. Wasn't that what it was? I think that's what it was. Oh. I don't know how old these are. Uh, maybe it's 16. So. These are from last week. We didn't read any with Nick. <laughs> uh, Steve Mermelstein, seven. 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 Not even Figment can help me imagine that opening wasn't off key, but I still love this stupid show. It was on some of the keys. It hit all the keys. Old Key West. <laughs> Castaway Key. If he wants to help, we can do Rogers and Mermelstein next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow. Did no one like that? Just That's a great show. Really I Rogers think people are slow to get it. <laughs> oh. Bridget Kelly, 577. Yeah, seven. If Figment is a deity in the Church of Imagination, what role does Chapek oh, play? Boy. Oh, no, we don't. No. He's down there. Uh -huh. uh, uh. Sea World. <laughs> He's under the desk. Uh, uh, Allison, 199. Happy early birthday to Lucas. Lucas! Oh. Who's hiding somewhere in the shadows? Is he in the rotunda? Yeah. Hi, Lucas. Like the people in the crowd looking up. <laughs> There's nothing there. <laughs> Except that camera that's still waiting to fall on me. Oh. Like Wiley Coyote. Uh, Beverly 220, 499. Ty Tom, since we will be at Oogie Boogie Bash next Thursday, I want to wish my daughter, uh, daughter, is it, is it Catherly? Is Catherly, that right or is that yeah. a typo? I hope that's I hope right. They know how to spell. Catherly, a very <laughs> happy 22nd birthday. Well, they don't know. Sometimes you type quick and you hit enter and you're like, oh no. Happy birthday, Catherine. It makes I hope sense if right. Beverly's daughter was Catherly. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it does. That's how, that's how family names work, right? <laughs> Where in the world is Nick's brain? <laughs> we got more of these? Oh, good. We do. Uh, Matthew wrote it $5. Please release that Figment song and very funny news. Also... Oh no. Lashana Tova? Lashana I got Tova? this. Oh yeah, Nick's got this. I don't know, that was be my guest. Lashana Tova, Tova, that's it. That's Happy exactly. New Year to everyone. May you have a sweet and purple New Year. Happy purple, Thank you. Purple New Year. Wait, Jared it's a New C? Year? Uh, Jewish New Year? Uh, 
<laughs> Jared, C one and I put towards Katie's therapy. <laughs> Poor Katie. What happened to Katie? I don't know. She's we put her through a lot it. here. Katie, what <laughs> happened to you? <laughs> Why don't people watch the show? They read Super Chats for 30 minutes. It's very self-indulgent. The opening song was about the host's ego. Uh, Josh Hopkins, 499. Yeah! Super Chat. We can get to the discussion. The discussion is the unwritten rules of Walt Disney World. I'll get to the, the rules of the discussion in a moment, but joining me, obviously, Nick is here. We have Allison, Piano Rob, Sabrina, and Eric. Why, Sabrina, why are you already shaking your head? No. I, 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 I don't even know. You don't even know? You don't know why you're saying no? No, I don't. I, don't, I don't, haven't figured out unwritten rules. I don't know. <laughs> so, Sabrina, unwritten rules are rules that are not written. <laughs> they're not, they're not. Has that cl been clarified so, enough for you? Well, before so, we get to those, we're going to go over the written rules, right? Of the segment, yeah. <laughs> so this has to be something rules. that is not enforced. And, and this will be a little confusing because obviously it can't be a written rule, but it also can't be an enforced rule, right? So like things that cast members will say all the time do not count. So whether it's fill in all the available space or please don't hit other guests <laughs> or, you know, like, like, it has to be something that, that needs to be said that, that is cr not currently enforced, right? Those would be the unwritten rules mm -hmm. of Walt Disney World. So these are things that, that there is no policing of currently, but perhaps there should be, okay. if that makes sense to everybody. Everyone's feverishly rewriting them now. So that's, that's I thought of sign. another one. I like cool. that we all wrote down our unwritten rules. I didn't. I didn't right. write mine down. It said unwritten, Rob. <laughs> Not, yeah, but not unscripted. I think there's a difference. <laughs> like this show. That's, we have a very we have a very large script. No, most of that is the game show. <laughs> that, well, yeah, that's true. Uh, actually, most of that is uh, is Desi's words, like Western words. Shh, don't ruin it. But it is, yeah. Most of it is a, most of it is a Western terminology book, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, Allison, I think this was this segment was your idea. It was, right? yeah. yeah. So why don't you why don't you start us off? Okay. Um, so there were um, there's really two major ones that um, kind of I guess grinds my gears, um, and one of them <laughs> it's Just most of Peter Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, it, one of them is mostly because I'm a very short person, and. When people, when I'm watching a show at night, like if I'm watching Happily Ever After, it's very irritating because it's already difficult for me to see the show as it is. So when you have the iPad and the show starts and all of a sudden you do this, or all of a sudden like it starts to just kind of like sprinkle a little bit, you take that umbrella and now, yeah. like, nobody, like, there's nothing, like, there's, I have yeah. no chance of seeing the show. If it's show. raining, you have two options. Stand there and get wet or leave. But it, you can't someone puts a four-foot-tall child on their shoulders. That's another favorite. Right? Well, is, well like, can just we Lucas just say, and Allison. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't see over the iPad, so Lucas just That's like, what, yeah, that's it. He just can we just me say, like, this. universally, you can't raise anything over your head level? <laughs> Like, yeah, 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 I agree. Yeah, no phones, children, or, or I had someone. I had someone show up very late, yeah. get in front of us, and they had two balloons tied to their stroller oh, oh, God. right here on our face. The I'm like, balloon. come put the balloons in the in the stroller or something. Come on. I, I, it's it's so frustrating because I know that like. I understand that like I live here now and I can come back and see it, but especially when I didn't live down here and this was the only thing that my only opportunity to see this, or if it's the last show or the first show or something, it's kind of ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, and Just then- Just because you're local doesn't mean you're not entitled to see something. If you put yeah. in the same amount of time or more to watch something, mm -hmm. like to get a spot for something- Oh yeah. Then that's, it's first come first serve, right? And no one should be- like, obviously fill in the space, but mm -hmm. no one should be obstructing someone else's view purposefully. Now, I will say, like, if I go to Japan and I end up getting a front row spot, 
There's nothing much I can do. <laughs> no one's gonna stand behind me. There will be the the uh, me behind me usually. Uh -huh. They form like a. You'll see the crowd split. Uh -huh. me, like, no one. Everyone's like, we can't stand behind this guy. We can't see the show. Uh -huh. But like, it's, you know, there's nothing I can do. Tom Zilla. But at least I was there early, right? They knew. Like I was standing there two hours early. Yeah. They know. Okay, the tall man is there. Yeah, but you're, you're, you're there the whole too. time. No, it's just I'm just tall. Isn't there a thing where you have to sit? Like, isn't there are some areas, but it shows. depends. It depends oh, where it you depends. are. Okay. But if I'm seated, I'm still probably <laughs> like this. That V will still form yeah. behind me where no one sits. Yeah. But at the very least, like if you're there for a long time, yeah. I kind of know not to stand behind this very tall person. Mm -hmm. What yeah. ha will happen though is that this kind of goes along with it is that sometimes people will have they'll have like the spot saved, and if you have like one person coming in, like that's fine. Or if you have like a little kid. That's fine, yeah. but like there was a situation where it was one of the last happily ever afters be yeah. before we knew it was gonna come back, yeah. and there was maybe two people, and then I'm not joking, ten people all of a sudden just kind of all come in and stand right in front of me, and you know what I did, Tom? This person. Ooh. I'll have a word with <laughs> Haymaker on that one, by the way. <laughs> and then this, and then they have the gall to hold, do the iPad oh, thing no. on top of it, the same family. So you know what I you do? You climbed on his shoulder. Did we place their iPad? After this was sent. No, they didn't destroy any property. Just put one out of wood. <laughs> <laughs> I just slipped it right in. They had no idea. Um, Alice pops up in between their <laughs> iPad and them. So I kind of did that, but not exactly. Oh, okay. So it's every single time they would raise their iPad, I would sing at the top of my lungs as loud as they could so that they would purposely <laughs> get my voice in their recording. And eventually, guess what they did? They stopped holding that iPad up. So the second <laughs> half of the show, wow. they kind of stopped nice. and they enjoyed the show. What they also could do is they could hold that iPad right here. They don't have to do this, I Head hold level. my phone right or here. Or they could just watch it on YouTube. When they or right. that's the other thing is, what are these people filming? Like, it's one thing for their social, like Facebook. You want to record like a minute, sure. If you don't come here all the time, like, what is this memory? Like, if you want to take a picture of your family watching the fireworks, absolutely. What are you filming the show for? It's on the internet. <laughs> watch, you've never seen it. And watch it. And there's better I versions. sit there, I'm like, yes. I wish I could watch yeah. this first performance yeah. of this thing, but I have to film it for the internet. <laughs> and then these uh, people have no obligation to anyone. Yeah. And they're just like, I uh, need this. I don't know. You don't. <laughs> But, so that but was before we get away from this topic, yeah, I, I think we should throw in one. I don't think you should ever be holding spots in a liner for a show for more people than you have waiting. Yes. You can't be one person waiting for ten. If you're like a you know a father and a son, and the mother took the other kid to the bathroom, with yeah, them, I understand absolutely. that. Yeah. But I don't think you should be two people waiting for eight. Yeah. Yes. And then that, that being said, like I think if it's a, a parent took both kids to the bathroom and it's one person, like one person holding for four in that scenario, like what are you going to yeah. do, right? Someone's got to hold the spot. The kids. We all know kids, right? It's like, I have to go to the bathroom now that yeah. we're close to loading into the theater. Unless you know? it's like me out with somebody and I've got like four kids with me. Then. Yeah. Well, and again, but, uh, how many times you see but, yeah. total big groups of adults do that? That's yeah. No, like that's, I agree with you on that. I just wanted to clarify, like, I think there are situations where <clears throat> it's like beyond people's control. And to, to Allison's point, though, 2019 at Epcot, 4th of July fireworks. Yeah. Very rude woman. Uh, there's people behind her. Uh, we're towards the back of World Showcase, Germany or Italy. Yeah. Um, there's a picnic table there. As soon as the fireworks start, she stands on the like seat of the picnic table with yeah. an iPad. No. Above her head. Wow. And um, I have a sister who lets people know when they're doing something that's very rude. And I don't think that lady wants to watch the footage of that show because <laughs> because someone let her know. If only someone else had filmed it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. There is a New Year's Eve Epcot live stream where I like fight a guy with an iPad. That's amazing. Because I like got a spot pretty early and there's people ahead of us, but he just goes straight up and I was like, can you hold that at eye level please like I'm doing? And they just pretended to not hear me. And so I like lost it at that point. I, I then went in front of him with the phone, and I put it in front of the iPad, that's and he went, oh, oh, now you speak English, sir. Okay, that's nice. Suddenly, you know many English words. That's amazing. <laughs> I like that you were pretending five minutes ago. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, 
And you can go watch it. I don't remember which New Year's Eve it is. It's probably like 2015, 16, or 17. It's one of those, but we live streamed it. And you, you'll see me like get in front of the guy with the iPad. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was another one. It doesn't happen that often. Um, it's not really a unique to Disney thing, but it's, yeah. some, it's a thing that like definitely happens there in other places is when people like kind of pretend that they don't know that there's a line that has formed for something yeah. and then they try to sneak in whether yeah. it's I don't know for like a merchandise thing or the bathroom or something yeah. like that like the other day yeah. I was in um, the France Pavilion yeah. where the um, not the creperie yeah. where the gift shop is yeah. and they have the two bathrooms yeah. and there's one line and you're waiting for both bathrooms and you you can you can assume that the one line and this one guy yeah. like goes right over to the bathroom on the other True, side yeah. and I said excuse me actually the line is just right behind me it's right over yeah. right over here and like I'm yeah. like and he's well, like oh I didn't know I'm like there's a line here the, what are we waiting for the cast member exit what do you think that's just the guy from Mickey blog I think <laughs> oh, <that's, laughs> Uh, someone tried that on Tom and I. You want to get into that one? Or? <laughs> no, Tom and I were in line for Rogers, Rogers the Musical at DCA, yeah. and the people, everybody's clearly lined up in the street, and the people stand on the curb, like, next to us, like, oh, what's yeah. going on oh, here? Yeah, inching the towards package, the, yeah, yeah like, in the morning. Uh -uh. And I was like, Eric, we are not letting these uh -uh. people in under any circumstances. No. And then I just, like, started sliding up to the curb, and eventually, like, it was almost time to move, and they, like, looked at me and went, and then they pretended to be like, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, this way, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, where you were you were standing with no one in front of you. Did you think that was where the line was, where no one was? Yeah. Probably. Well, we're at the front of the line, but the line's in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So those are, those are my, my, my big ones. It's the, the I don't yeah. think that there's a line. I'm going to cut the line yeah. and people blocking blocking my view. Yeah. No, sh you didn't mention shoulder children, though. Well, like we said, anything over the head. I'd yeah. yeah. Hold your kid like this. The, Don't put them on your So shoulder. I will say, like, when back when I had children, they were rented. Um, <laughs> back when, were they I so you could ride like, Toronadon flyers? Oh. I mean, that's how I did get to ride yeah. that. But anyway, it was Orlando child rentals. <laughs> and I rented children oh, so I could boy. ride rides and then look like a normal human being at character meals. <laughs> um, and so... Yeah, we used to hold them like like, like this, that. Yeah. like that, yeah. like yeah. It, like look, that's, that's, that's do it hard, like this. But Isn't that easier? Is it not easier? You I have, have children. I don't know. Being considerate is usually a little harder than being a jerk. I mean, it's not for. I mean, it's for what? Fifteen or, minutes? Hold them like this yeah. instead of on the shoulders, or, maybe. You when you first line up, you start with that kid on the shoulder. Everybody knows now, this kid's on the shoulder yeah. from the get go, like. Yeah. Send him over to lick the railing during the show. They're not going <laughs> to remember you, it anymore. If you think it's yeah. bad here, there is one Disney park on Earth where it is the whole crowd goes up on shoulders. No. Shanghai. Paris. Paris. It's got to be Paris. Paris. The drone show starts. Two sec. The whole street. No. You don't see anything. No. Like, it's, it's, I've never seen anything like it. If you think Disney World or Disneyland is bad, you have no idea. Paris, every single child goes on a shoulder. I hate it. And, and, and no one does it until the music starts. Because no. Apparently, no one knew when the show started. Everyone just showed up. They just saw people in the street. We're like, who's we'll standing in the street? <laughs> uh -huh. If everyone's going to stand in the street, and they all just stand there, they're like, oh, music! Woo! <laughs> they stack two at a time. Uh -huh. <laughs> a tower. Um, all right, we have a super tower. chat That's about it. Alex is. Martinez, $10. Oh. The Hold Your iPad at Eye Level event was New Year's Eve 2016 <laughs> into 2017. I remember being there. You were very upset. <laughs> I was laughing very loud. Yeah, Alex was there. Um, I'm glad it was a happy memory for you. <laughs> it was what I proud as well. After it was over, I did kind of laugh about, like, the fact that he suddenly spoke to me fluently was mm. pretty comical. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, a, it, was a fun, it was a fun night. Anyway. Well, thank you, Alex. Thank you. Sabrina? What is your unwritten, unwritten <laughs> rule? Um, mine is probably very similar to Allison's, and that is if you're, okay, if, if you're at the front of a parade route line, right? You, I mean, you've, you've, you've gotten there early, that's fine. But if you're an adult and you see a kid that's now standing behind you and is mm. trying to get the, let them in. Like, let the kid. No. Like, no. First yeah, come, first serve. I do it if the parents don't ask. If people just show up and are standing behind me, 
I let the kid in. Because mm. if you but, push the kid into me, uh, no, 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 and that's not what I'm saying. Like, don't put. But if you notice that there's a kid, yeah, let the kid just let like. Yeah. You can see if you can see yeah. over that child. Yeah. I'm not asking Allison to do it, but if you can see uh, over the child. Sorry. Sorry. There are a oh, lot of Will Chamberlain there here is talking about how short <laughs> Allison the time, is. The first time I saw magic happens, yeah. someone else's kid sat in my lap. And I don't know whose kid what? it was. They just sent their children to the front. Yeah. Like and, and it was it was the first week of the parade. So it was 15 people deep. And so I think they were 15 people back and pushed the kid through the whole crowd. Yeah. And That's the kid amazing. just sat on my knee. That's amazing. And I didn't know what to do. The kid yeah. didn't speak English. So I'm just like, okay. So the kid just wow. sat on my lap. Somebody walked. across he the street is like, look I'm at that even, Tom Corliss. He's so even sweet. Being uh, I'm not yeah. indulging. You in... want to recreate it? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not exaggerating the story for entertainment value. Not like he didn't sit in the middle of my lap, but I had my legs crossed, and he sat on the knee, <laughs> the whole t and on it. Oh my goodness! I bet a lot of people thought you in that guy sweet, till so this strange kid. Probably, but like, a, it didn't. I, I thought it was you were weird. mortified. And if the, like, I'd be used to, like, turn around the parent and be like, I'm so sorry. And I'd be like, it's fine. It's a kid. Yeah. But, like, the fact that they pushed him 15 up were just like, kids, do whatever. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, but come it, on. It bothers me, like, if my kids are, like, because my, I don't shove my kids up towards, like, I'll tell my kids, you know, go, go stand in that little, you know, there's a little yeah, like, sure. space there. But if you see that, if you look down, you see my kid is there and they clearly cannot see yeah. over you. And then you just go back to doing whatever, and you know there's space in front of you. Like, don't yeah. be a, don't be a. Yeah, we know the word. Yes. <laughs> don't be a Tom. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, you know what I mean. Like, it's yeah. don't like. Clearly, they can't yeah. see over you. Like. Yeah. I, it's not an adult. But what if the kid there, pulls out just... an iPad? And <laughs> <over> iPad? <laughs> Which. Is a thing that's happened. Yeah. If the kid this is happening, they, etch pass, a sketch up. they yeah. pass the kid the iPad, yeah. and yeah. then I'm like, I let you in front of me, and now you're blocking. Oh yeah. Oh no, yeah. You know I tell you what. what? If Cut the, the kid off. If that's the kid fine. had right? an, if yeah. the kid had an iPad, he'd rather play with that than watch the parade anyway. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's the other. Asleep. Does anyone have the kids with the iPad on their list? Can we put oh, that on? People let be. their kids play with an iPad at full volume. No. Oh. That's anywhere. The volume. Anywhere. Yeah. Bullshit. Bullshit. I, They're the same people that talk now. on speakerphone in a grocery yeah. store walking around. Well, that was you when you slipped on my, the ketchup. Listen, psychopaths. We call listen, them. in all fairness, I do have to actually talk on my phone on the speaker because my internal speaker is broken. Oh, no. And if I don't have an earpiece, then I'm Your like... Your internal so monologue you know is broken, too, so Eric, it's true. Eric, people are... You're not it's wrong. the supermarket, Eric. Yeah. Who cares? It's not... A eight thousand dollar vacation. You're not sitting at a table yeah. service restaurant that costs a uh, hundred dollars a person, and the person's watching Bluey at full oh volume. Oh God, yeah. yeah. Uh, re re wow. But rewind. Uh, less than a week ago, in a bathroom at Disney Springs, guy in the stall. Oh, I'm every, just using the restroom. Guy in the time. stall. Anyway, buddy, give me those papers tomorrow, <laughs> and I'll go have Bert sign them. You know, I was like, what are you doing? Is this doing? your first time in a Disney bathroom? That's every time I go yeah, in a Disney you're like, bathroom, there's a guy on the phone. Yeah. He's like, what are you doing? Like, nobody has speakerphone. <laughs> yeah. You shouldn't be on the phone in general. The phone needs to be away. You are in the bathroom. <laughs> in the bathroom. Now Please. You're, it's just, there no. are other people in here. I don't need to hear both of your businesses. <laughs> <laughs> you know? No, but the iPad at full volume needs yeah. to. If you want to let them play a game at no volume, that's great. If that, I just, if that entertains I don't them, know. I, I am not a fan of people just giving their kids, like, their phones and iPads yeah. as they're going through the park and the kid's, like, on them. I agree. Being pushed through the park. But that's your, like, you know. Was that our flight? Were you on that flight with yeah. me? The kid just full volume playing the games? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Five-hour flight. Yeah. I was like, oh, God, please tell me the battery. Is that the kid out. that was like belligerent to their parents? Yeah. Like the yeah. mean kid? Yeah. yeah. That yeah. was the worst child I've ever encountered. Yeah. And I mean, like, and don't get me wrong, there there are there are special occasions for yeah. that. And there sometimes, you know, there's special needs kids that do need that. I'm not talking about anybody that needs that to like yeah. calm themselves to 
give them something to, you know what I mean? Like they yeah. need that to ground them. Yeah, I understand. That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm talking about like your two year old that is all of a sudden bored and you don't know how to entertain them yeah. in a $120 park, yeah. you know, for that you've done, you paid your ticket and yeah. now you're two year old. Because you don't want to take them to the Dumbo yeah. playground because you don't want to do it. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I agree. You know, you know where I've never had an issue with any of the children? Japan. Tokyo Disney. They're, they are the most respectful children I've ever <laughs> met. There was this little baby dressed as Donald Duck in front of us oh. for the parade, and he was just he was completely silent, but just like uh, walking uh, around, <laughs> came over to us. I don't know, it was so cute. Oh, God. And I hate children, but man. <laughs> oh. Man, their kids are so good. You don't even know there's kids in the park. It's it's wild. Yeah. Uh, Josh Hopkins, 199 Unwritten Rule, don't be a douche. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Fair. Eric, yeah. what's, it's 1030. I have, I have two. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Uh, first one, very simple. Mm -hmm. If you're in a walkway, promenade, Epcot World Showcase, anywhere else, mm -hmm. and if you need to stop <laughs> for any reason, <laughs> go to the side. Yeah. Pull over. And Pull if you're over. with other people and you go to the side and they don't, go grab them and say, we need to step to the side. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. How hard is that? Yeah. Yeah. Doorways and, yet, and shops, And the thing is, right? and yeah. we've discussed doorways. this. Doorways. Yeah. Yeah. Doorways. If it's doorways. raining, yeah. get out of oh, the right. doorway. But we've oh. discussed this. And at Disney World, a lot of these people do it because... They're distracted, they're ignorant, they're whatever. They're overwhelmed, they don't know what they're doing. Morons. At Disneyland, they do it because they're passive-aggressive assholes. Oh, yeah, that's uh. <laughs> All right. Oh. And, and more importantly than that, don't stick your phone in a cast member's face and record them. Unless yeah. you need to do it for a legal reason. Yeah. Unless you're being arrested or something like that, put your phone, yeah. don't stick your phone in a cast member's face. That goes to like yeah. these people that did that video with the, yeah. the lady at the glow cart. At you Magic shouldn't do Kingdom. that anywhere. That's an um, anywhere. Yeah, like do don't that. do that. And and I, sometimes this could go for people that work a, adjacent to us, like vloggers, bloggers. Like when I used to live stream, when we used to live stream, and I'd be around a customer, I didn't show their face. You turn the other way. I yeah. turn the other way. Yep. That's a good you know? rule. And like that was a respectful yeah. thing. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I I I'm gonna buy something while I'm live streaming. Yeah. I'm gonna turn unless the camera somewhere else. Unless they're a spieler, else. right? Unless you know. Yeah. They're unless they're a performer or something like that. Yeah. But yeah. 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 I hate that. No, I agree. Piano Rob. For the sake of time, I'm going to pick one that kind of goes with yours that I can't stand. I hate when families somehow, and they're not necessarily any size person, but the family takes up the whole walkway. Yeah. yeah. They, they, uh, I don't know how they do why it. Why do you it, need to be eight across? Yeah whether, yeah, whether you're a family of three or 12, however they do it, they do like yeah. the step-by-step -step opening, and they're just all <laughs> spread out, and I can't. Yeah. Katie, step-by-step -step was, no. <laughs> Suzanne Summers, Thighmaster, it's a thing. Um, Patrick Duffy. Patrick, Patrick Duffy. Yeah. The but, Disney bit. But that that's something that always drove, drives me. So when yeah. there is room to walk by and you just decide, it's like when three cars on the highway all say, let's go the same speed. And <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, just, just let me They through. play Smokey uh, and the Bandit, like with the trucks driving. Yes. So, the can't get yep. uh. so that, that, that is mine. Yeah. Nick? Uh, so I, I had the stopping in the doorway one, but my second one was... Um, and I don't, I really don't know how popular this one's going to be. I don't know if this was a good one or a bad one. Mm -hmm. So when you're in a show, might be a fireworks show, might be a projection show, might be a in-theater show, and the parents have to narrate to their kid, like, oh, who's that? Who's uh -huh. that? Is that Tinkerbell? No. Is that Tinkerbell flying? Like, every character that comes out, <laughs> the parent has to do that. And it's like, the kid sees it. Just <laughs> sip it. The kid knows that's freaking Mickey Mouse. You don't have to say, who's that? Oh, who's that coming out there? Is that, is that Mickey? Do you like me? Just, just let it go. Enjoy the damn show. You don't have to narrate it. The kid probably knows more about those characters than you. They know that's Tinkerbell flying on the screen and Phil Her Magic because she's eight All feet I tall. All I want to do is go to the park fine. with Nick and narrate for him now. No. <laughs> oh, Nick, Nick, do you see that? that? Oh, who's who that? is that? Who is that? Is that I have, Mickey? Don't I want to do a segment where we decide oh, the best way to so deal bad. with all these stupid I things. have oh. a story where I've dealt with it. People were doing this in filler magic. 
Yeah. So I, I started all yelling the out there. the wrong answer. Yes. Ah. Oh, my God. Ah. comes out, I go, oh, it's Nemo. <laughs> Nemo. <laughs> and then, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, Tinker, I forgot what I yelled for, with oh the Nemo. God. Like, they, she stopped after Nemo. I just That's go, so Nemo, good. look, it's Nemo. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, cool. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Oh my God! I don't remember what I said for Tinkerbell. I might have said something about Shrek. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just kept going at that point. Oh, I love it. Oh my Ooh. God. Um, mine is mine is weird. Um, it's it's a little weird, but I think people are gonna. The moment I I explain it, I think people are gonna get it. So, a written rule, in that it is enforced and something cast members ask you to do, is fill in all the available space. That's what they ask you to do. And I'm not going to get into the argument of if that matters or not. That's not the, we'll, we'll cross that bridge another time, because it doesn't. But they ask you to do this. And so at this point, everyone does the look. Everyone looks if there's space and if there's people. And everyone decides if they're going to move or if they're not going to move, right? This happened yeah. recently, Rock and Roller Coaster. It's happened a million times, but the most recent one that triggered me the thing about this was rock and roller coaster. They asked you to fill in all the space in that, that little passage to the pre-show, that mm -hmm. little hallway. And so these people are standing off to the left, and there's the whole passage basically down to the doors. And so she asks, and I give them a couple seconds. They're technically ahead of me. I give oh, them a yeah. good five, six seconds. Mm -hmm. She completes saying it. I give them a few more seconds. At this point, I'm like, all right, now I, I have to fill in because you have not. I begin to fill in. Yep. When I fill in, the lady goes to our family and goes, so she's like mad that we filled in the space. So she starts like trying to push them past us. Mm -hmm. So the unwritten rule is, if you didn't fill the space in an adequate amount of time, it's yeah. mine. Oh yeah. yeah. That's, that's oh, the yeah. rule. I gave you that you're technically slightly ahead. I'm giving you time, go or don't. But if you don't, I'm going. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the unwritten rule is you either fill in the space or someone else is going. Yeah, to. that happened to me yeah. last week. I went right ahead of someone. You can't be mad yeah. when they fill in because you were asked and didn't move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. It's different if the person like she the cast member barely started saying it and I'm like mm -hmm. zooming right. in. But I'm like, I know what she's going to say. I'm going to let these people are going to go. And they didn't. And I was like, it's been a lot of time. And now the cast members like staring at me because I'm in the back here. I have to do something. And so I went, <laughs> and she was angry, and I'm like, oh, well. she said, fill in the space. I gave you time. Yeah. Go or don't. That's a good one. Right? It, it's, yeah. I only it thought happens. about this. Like, we've it never happens. talked about this, but this happens every single time people are asked to fill in the space, right? Yeah. Can you think of a time it hasn't happened to you? Where you haven't seen people, like, have that, that moment of indiscretion and then, mm -hmm. like, the inevitable, like, dirty looks? It, it, Happens at Mansion all the yeah. time. Oh, Mansion's yeah. a big yeah. one. Yeah. Guardians, it's, it's it's all the time. Yeah. People just abandon their family. That was going to be another <laughs> one of mine was, when we merge, make sure you have your people with you. They have oh, yeah. to go with you. I'm not <laughs> stopping. If they're not there when we get to the turn at Guardians, I'm going ahead of you. No, I'm not. No, no, like, they're not coming up. You can wait 12 additional seconds to yeah. board this ride, you ran ahead of your party like a schmuck, and now I'm going. That is one thing I dislike about rides like Guardians, because the queue is orderly, and there's an order to it, and then it's chaos yeah. and fill in space, and then it's chaos yeah. and fill in space again, yeah. and then it's orderly, but it's a madhouse. Like, it, yeah. like, if I'm in line, just leave me in line. Don't keep making me fight for space. Every single Yeah, but then room. we have to get rid of pre-shows. I mean, yeah. I don't mind if the Guardians pre-show wasn't there, honestly. I mean, they could very easily put <laughs> a queue in the I don't the, need to learn about fake culture. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me ride this unthemed roller coaster, please. <laughs> Thank you. But, yeah. Do we have any super chats of them, Jake? I would clear those out before we end the segment, maybe. Uh, Ashley Carter, $5, feeling like Festivus, a lot of airing of grievances. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, for sure. I got a lot of problems with you people. Mm -hmm. Now you're going to hear, hear about them. them. Swansea Searcher, $10. <laughs> I hate children at WWE. <laughs> at WWE <laughs> Well, to be I fair, thought it said WWE and T. I was like, Tom children. didn't say he yeah. hated children at WWE. Tom said he hated General. children. <laughs> to be fair. I mean, even at Universal. Well behaved children, I think, are, are very hard to find in this day and age. Well, so are well behaved adults. 
That's it's also true. true. Yeah. That in the in the U.S. parks, it's absolutely yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, Paris, it's a different kind of rudeness where they just don't understand. Well, the kids are smoking it. They don't yeah, understand they space, <laughs> but it's different. Um, but yeah, I mean, once you go to Tokyo Disney and you're just like, wow, people here just keep to themselves and don't bother other people, and the kids don't make noise. <laughs> I've never heard a child make a noise. Actually, once I think a child was laughed kind of loudly, and the father gave him a look that's like, We'll talk about this Whoa. when we go home. And I was like, oh no. Why did you laugh out loud, child, at this place of fun? What have you done? Oh my. Oh, oh. God. That other guy, RJ199. And now the feats of strength. Yes. <laughs> JC Bob at 199, adding to piano Robert. Walk to the right. Yeah. Doug Rosenthal, 499, unwritten rule, we don't ask what the nacho cheese sauce is made of. But we love it. <laughs> mm. Take a picture of it and throw it out. Delicious. <laughs> JC Bob at 499, Sabrina's maxi tour. She'll walk around and ask, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? that? Oh, that's oh, a good answer. It's an orange bird. It's not right, but orange. nice try. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. The one time I got to do my incorrect history walk, either people loved it or people hated it. <laughs> I that was forget great. that. People were so mad about it. Swansea Searcher, $10. Pisses me off when nerds recite the spiel on a ride <laughs> like Haunted Mansion. Yeah. Shut up, we yeah. all know. You know what I hate more? When they don't know it. Tower of oh, Terror. Oh, the wrong one? Tower yeah. of Terror. The, 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 Twilight Zone! I was like, oh, have you been on this before? Ooh! Oh, you knew the part with the TV show name. Oh, you're impressive. Yeah, you shouldn't do it at all, but I hate when people don't know half of it and they're just kind of mumbling. They do it anyway just because yeah, like, they can't rrr, shut up. Rrr, rrr. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> even worse. But yeah, Mansion. Mansion at Disneyland, man. I don't even ride Mansion at Disneyland when it's not holiday because I'm like, I don't want to go in that stretching room. <laughs> so it's gonna what, ruin it. when is it okay to go along with whatever's there and say it, like say the lines? Is it if it's sung, like when so, you're singing Carousel? So of like, is it okay? Yeah. Like you can do. I think you can do like a that. single thing if it's like a definitive thing, right? If you if you go to Flight of Passage, I don't think you'd bother people if everyone in your party went, oh, fly. I think even tourists would be like, oh, they've been on this before. Mm -hmm. If you continue to do the rest, yeah. I think that's that's a bit much. Well, like, so I, the first time I went to Disneyland, first time I saw their um, fireworks show, I was in the street, and they were seemingly, like, cast members, and they were singing the entire, mm. entire thing yeah. from start to finish. So I, I moved. Yeah. I moved down the street. But, like... That ruins the enjoyment. Now they're having yeah. fun. I don't want to be like a killjoy. Like don't sing. That, yeah. So is singing different than reciting narration? And entertainment stuff, it might be right because entertainment stuff is more like going to a live performance, right? If you go to a right. concert, you know. Um, but not if you were at a Broadway show. No. Yeah. So I went to yeah. Rogers, and it happened to be a day where the, I guess like most of the A cast was off, and they decided to come see the show, mm. and they were they were not great. There was a lot of shouting and a lot of like dancing along, and mm -hmm. I'm like, these people have not seen this. Like, it's I, I right. love that you've come to support and you clap as loud as you want, but it's it's basically a Broadway show, and so Broadway show yeah. rules, other than filming, because everybody takes them, obviously don't hold it up, but other than that, Broadway show rules apply, right? Mm -hmm. I so. mean, unless it's posted, you know, we're doing the. We're, we're the frozen sing-along. I hate, sing hate I when mean, everyone sings along. Frozen sing-along, yeah. right? I mean, I mean listen, I'll, I'll tell you what. Even, even when I'm at a concert, and, I, and this is really probably more pet peeve because it depends on who you are, yeah. you might sit next to somebody who is singing loudly and terribly yeah. during a concert, and yeah. that's my whole experience. I'm yeah. hearing more of mm -hmm. that person yeah. than, than exactly. the person on stage. And it's like I Sorry. paid a lot of money to hear yeah. whoever yeah. sing. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. I agree with you, but that's I think it's a personal thing. A lot of people do. Go to concerts to sing, right? That's, so that's maybe outdoors enjoy, right? musical pieces are okay, but like. But in, still, to a level setting? where it's not. Also, they work there, right? Like, if you're they a Disney cast member, yes. I'm, I'm probably going to get shit for this, but I don't care. If you're a Disney cast member and you believe in what you do, right, the guest experience comes first, right? Mm -hmm. You know, maybe find a spot that where you won't bother people. And we've certainly done that where we've done events where we go to the park and such and. I think we generally try to stay out of the way, knowing like, you know, maybe people in our group are gonna, like if we take 50 people to Dinosaur, right. maybe people are gonna quote the pre-show, and maybe I'll go to the ride attendant and be like, hey, 
We have a group of 50. We'd be happy to wait another cycle. Mm -hmm. Can we take the next pre-show? We don't want to bother anybody, right? Yeah. And that's the thing I've done before. I just ask, and if it's no, it's fine. But I, I will actively at least try to not impede the guest experience. But we will sing experience. the hell out of the Country Bear Jamboree. We will. But you're we supposed to the, the yeah. guests can't hear the show anyway because the yeah. speakers yeah. are all blown. <laughs> so if anything, we were helping them hear <laughs> the music. Uh, the no, show tells you. That's, that's a great example. Like, it's a jamboree. That's meant to be everybody's yeah. It does if, tell you to clap. If, it you're, does going, if you're going to the, pros, the Frozen sing-along, yeah. the Beauty and the Beast yes. sing-along, like, that's yeah. what it's supposed to be. It's a big, even like the Playhouse Disney, like all that. Or, uh, There's Disney a part Junior. in Tiki Room, at least the Disneyland one, yeah, the full like, version like, says, "Sing along or whistle." Or, it's, you know. it's different. There's, I think, I, I would think it's clear, but maybe it's maybe it's obviously yeah. not. But there's a difference. Yeah. So, so when I did. Um, uh, the mission breakout was at Monsters After Dark. Is that no. what it's supposed okay. You couldn't tell because the song repeats it 15 times. First time I did that. Luckily, I got to do it a couple more. But like, I, I did it in the the, the back row did this, I don't know if this is a thing, like did this chanting thing, and they were stomping their feet and clapping in rhythm the, the entire time. Did and they all chant monsters? Yeah, monsters. they did. There's a part in the song okay. that does Oh, that. okay, so that's what they were doing, okay. It's Monsters After Dark. I, I think they had a movie composer do it. I forget who did it. Yeah. It's pretty basic. I, I, and it's kind of yeah. so bad it's good, okay. and so you weren't missing a whole lot. Yeah, because it's just basically like I couldn't like, hear a freaking word, and then they were just like screaming at the top of their lungs, yeah. which you do on that ride, but it was different. Yeah. They were doing some kind of chant and like thing, so I think yeah. that was a yeah. the thing they were doing. Okay, so it's probably not okay. That explains that. It's probably not okay, but I understand what they. But were they were doing. doing. I didn't know they were doing yeah. a thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When nerds yeah. like we're not nerds. Okay, one more though. One more. Mm. Oh my God! It's La 10 I know, but I have to ask this one. All right, if like the last show of something, all right, so something's closing. Say, oh, that's yeah, no. If you're dumb rule, enough to be the tourist out that the went window, to the right? last ever yeah. of something, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Rules out the, okay. No, all we're right. all saying goodbye. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. we're all saying that. Yeah, yeah like. Okay. You didn't look that it was the last one. I'm yeah. sorry. I can't, At that point, you didn't just you. go to Rocky Horror. You went to yeah. the Rocky Horror sing along. That's like when people <laughs> yeah. went to the last Bill and Ted. If you Expect went to the last to Bill and Ted at Horror Nights, yeah. you're not hearing the show. No. Like, that's that's just what it is. Yeah. Right? It's like Rocky Horror. Same. Yeah. yeah. That's like going to a playoff game. You're not hearing what the ref's going to say. It doesn't matter. No, you know exactly. Yeah. <laughs> There's some situation. That is yeah. one of those situations. Like, Last Country Bears, old right. show, you ain't, you yeah. ain't hearing that yeah. show. Because yeah. that's going to be rowdy in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Grecker, 499. Not every attraction is audience participation by intoxicated vlogger and his fancy friend. Oh, no. He knows your name. Mm, move on. <laughs> no, it's not about me. Mm. Retro Red, $2. Festivus is over till you pin your I think it's pin. pin. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dad. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> ben, I was, I was, now can I say what I was picturing? I was picturing him trying to get his father into a pen. Into a pen. Like an enclosure <laughs> pen. Get in, get like back. Which pen. one is funnier? Like pen your father or pen your father? And you've got to get him in a pen with a pen somehow. you like, this is how you get him in? Get, get in there. Uh, <laughs> God. Uh, Cat Calico 999, follow Figment's golden rule. Do unto others, be respectful, kind, and have fun. And create. Figment's golden rule is actually spray people with skunk smell so that they understand what imagination is. <laughs> wow, 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 my brother. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow to you. Anyway. Steve Marmelstein of Rogers and Marmelstein, $5. How about the YouTubers who show their face more than the park and shout into their camera, ruining the experience for everyone around them? I yeah. mean, we've talked about that a million times. Dining reviews. Get yourself some mics, folks. You stop screaming in Crystal. All Ears was there screaming at Crystal Palace, and I was mortified. Because then people assume everyone else that has a camera is these people, and I, I hate that. It's, it's, it's so rude. You think they wouldn't have to shout if they're called All Ears? <laughs> uh, Dad joke of the week? That was, that was a great joke. <laughs> Alex Arandando, $7. Yes, seven. Super show. Yes, seven. 
God. We still have to get to the game show where these, are these owners more. The other guy, RJ, 109, the pen is made of high strength aluminum. It's aluminum. Aluminum. Yeah. That's a, I'm sorry, I watched an Apple keynote this week. Aluminium. Anyway. Is that it? We're good? We're going to take a commercial break. Oh, boy. And then we'll be back with Where in the World is Me? <laughs> Hey there, folks, it's your old pal, Chuby the Merchandise Bird. You may recognize me from Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway or maybe from, you know, that other version of Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, the, the one where the kids keep stealing the salt and pepper shakers. Anyway, I'm the one with the deep backstory. What a lot of you don't know is that part of that backstory involves fighting for my fellow Toons as a member of the International Brotherhood of Toon Workers. You see, every day, guests come to see how we live here in Toontown. But the secret they don't want you to know is that life in Toontown these days ain't so great. Wages are low. I mean really low. In our last union negotiating meeting, Disney told us they wouldn't give Dumbo even one peanut more. Rent is through the roof, too. <laughs> Toons are sleeping in their cars, which I guess ain't all that bad since they can talk to their cars, but it's still bad. To make matters worse, our local Toons are losing their jobs to live-action characters. They already got Simba, and Pinocchio, and Dumbo, and Cogsworth. Next thing you know, they're going to be coming for Ariel. She already had to sell her Dinglehopper, and now she's down to her last three thingamabobs. Word is that Cinderella is playing patty cake for money on the streets. How sad. It's time for us to fight back. Everyone in Toontown deserves a living wage. Not just a few fat cats from the Fab Five either. Everyone. So join us as we rally to increase the wages in Toontown. If we work together, nothing can stop us now. And you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. Welcome back to news tonight. We're on hour three of seven of tonight's show. Seven. Yeah, seven. Isn't uh, the hour over? Uh, show over at eleven? What? Show. You think you're going to finish the game in eight minutes? Yeah, yeah, you we'll do, do this. You can do where in the world? We got it. In eight minutes, Jake. <laughs> yep, he said yep. All right. Uh, well, first, let's see. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things at the Disney parks that never yes. see the light of day, and we check them out. And a little thing we call unbuilt Disney. Let's see what we have this week. Never realized the traction. Test track presented by Chevy Chase. <laughs> oh, there's a dog leash on the car. Uh huh. It's DK, the Chevy Chase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Francisco Franco is still dead. Uh, let's see. We're going to do more of these shows, believe it or not. Let's mm -hmm. see the count. Let's see what's coming up here on the show. Uh, next week, we have a, a very travel-oriented edition of the show, Lost in Translation, our show where Nick gets to read foreign languages. Very exciting. Uh, also, We Must Go, a discussion of the Disney Parks-inspired uh, travel destinations you've been to. So places that the Disney Parks inspired you to go to the real-world inspiration. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
and much more next week. Uh, we're then on break for a little bit. We'll be back on October 5th with Liquid Magic. Sabrina! You guys know about this? No! Uh, Liquid Magic, we're going to the Tip Top Club at the Hollywood Tower Hotel. That we are. Uh, and as well, a new game, the Kazoo Game. Kazoo! <laughs> you know what it is? No, but it's fun to say. Uh, and then on October 12th, we're going to do something a little different. It is sort of universal. It's definitely universal inspired. Uh, we're going to have our team design their own Halloween Horror Nights houses. Ooh. Something we've never wow. done before. Yeah, I knew Rob would be. I just got excited. excited I didn't know that was happening. I just found Maybe that. Allie wants to come to that She would. She would love she to would come love to that. She would love that, right? Like out of Legos? No, like Legos? just like design one. You know how we do like Imagineer? Yeah. That, but they don't have Imagineer, so it'll be like creative that. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. All that more. Tickets available at www.newstonight.com. Tickets are available for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. We have all of our tickets for the rest of the year available. Please come join us. If not, you can watch us right here at WDWNT TV. Please hit that like button and subscribe, of course. Nick, who brings us the show every week? News Tonight is brought to you by Be Our Guest Travel. Nope. Be Our Guest Vacations. That's it. That's their name. Their name is also on the game tonight. Yeah. They're yeah. on the map. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're doing that. You know, it's really cool. Their services are free. No, what are their services? Free! You didn't cue everybody. I'm sorry, I got there too fast. I thought there was gonna be- I had a nickel a... for every time you said that. <laughs> At least it's not. got long and drawn out like this show. So they have vacation <laughs> planning experts that can uh, put together a trip to like any Disney thing you know that's out script? there. Like a cruise, like Disneyland Paris, like Disney's California Adventure Park, like the other one. And <laughs> you could find out all about it because they have this, Tom, what they call their concierge team concierge team of expert vacation planners. And you can find them at brguestvacations.com slash WDWNT. Just go there, click on it, and sign up for your free trip. They're also oh, able to... Oh, just the services are free. Okay, I got that wrong. Tonight it is if someone wins the game. If we ever get to it. They're also able to book they unforgettable already, so VIP tours where you and your group can experience the ultimate park day. The best part is their services are free. So book today. You want that? Thank you. This just in. They're no longer giving us a four-night hotel stay to give away. It's now seven. <laughs> don't, don't rile yeah, them up. You have comments? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Right. <laughs> Walt Disney presents... The Wonderful World of... All right. Whoa, that's a weird camera angle. What's going on there? Well, the problem is Katie just sitting in the audience. What did I do? I... I think so. The California or, sun. Or the chair shrank. Uh, Magic Kingdom expansion to be the largest ever for the park, similar to Pandora and Galaxy's Edge. Yeah. At Disney, Rover wrote, so they took last year's announcement, rewrote it, and resubmitted it for half credit. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The academics are dying at that one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, forgot about Zootopia and Moana, or forget about Zootopia and Moana, plans to replace Dino Land USA at Animal Kingdom now revolve around Encanto and Indiana Jones. At Frodo 1511 wrote, well, looks like the dinos are going extinct again. Be careful what you wish for, folks. You just might get it. At DVD Andrew, of course, yes, because when I think of Animal Kingdom, the first things I think of are a magical horse and an architect with House. a whip. Oh, yeah, this house. Magical horse? Magical horse would be <laughs> more in theme. That. Sorry. Welcome to the that. horse, magical. <laughs> I can't read tonight here. Tonight? Yes. Tonight. Shut up, Joe. 
Only we can be mean to Read the button, Joe. A new Encanto photo op has replaced the up one at the entrance of Disney's Animal Kingdom. A sign of things to come. At uh, Marky Macy Mark, Marky Mark? Yeah, there we go. That's in the wrong place. It should be right outside the dino with the eviction notice. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The little one talks to dinosaurs. Uh, next story, Josh Tomorrow promises more attractions, shows, lands, coming to Disney parks over the next decade. We got this comment here. Please upgrade Cosmic Ray's song list. Let him do some rap and most Eisley tunes. <laughs> we'll update Cosmic no, Ray's. No, I think you leave him. No, you leave him? Sorry. I don't know. For Sorry. some reason, I know. Still want to Whatever. Rap. No, I just, like, I don't know. Uh, Zootopia show replacing its stuff to be a bug in Tree of Life at Disney's Animal yeah. Kingdom. At Orange Bird, just got tougher to be a bug. <laughs> mm. You know what makes sense in a tree? A show hosted by a cop leopard. Yes. <laughs> he lives in the tree. <laughs> uh, next story, new tiki Maui mug, salt and pepper shakers, and coconut cup arrive at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. You can yeah. see that there. At I am AZ or something. Pretty sure this is how Bobby Brady cursed his family. <laughs> Someone explain it to Katie. Yeah, where's Katie? She doesn't know this one. We're so old. Yes. See, Katie, it? there's there's a story about a man named Brady. <laughs> Don't get right. excited. It's not that Brady. It's not Tom, yeah. Uh, Hatbox Ghosts said they'd be a haunted mansion oh, no. at Magic Kingdom in late November at CCXV00. Also announced Santa to arrive at Magic Kingdom in late February. <laughs> I didn't know the Hatbox yeah. Ghost was directly connected to Thanksgiving. Yeah. Like, they're just the, the stuffing, a box of stuffing appears in the Hatbox. God. Oh, uh, this one might be directed at you, Tom. Guests oh. wait up to five hours for Figment meet and greet. Yeah. At Dole Whip Daily. Imagine paying over $100 to get into a park and waste half the day in line for a 30-second encounter with a character that doesn't talk just to feel special, posting the picture on social media. Here's a crazy concept. They sell this thing. I don't know if this person's heard of it. It's called an annual pass. And you can mm. go like all the time. And so it's not $130 a day. And when you go, you could do like one or two things you really want. And then you can go home and then you come back again. What? It's, it's, yeah, it's super cool. Right. You should look it up before right. you write an idiotic comment. A couple more. Psychotic. 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 No, that one's idiotic. <laughs> we had and this post with a picture of the current crowd inside. These are people that arrived at 9.03 a.m. At Presgar wrote, a capacity crowd for Sunday services at the Church of Imagination. Absolutely. All right, and last but not least, you posted this picture of Figment meet and greet to start at Epcot on September 10th. Yeah. That picture right there at Disney Mike 23. His one little spark is showing. Yeah. <laughs> you're, going at, to, you're going to SeaWorld. At Chris Panico, <laughs> what a nice microphone you have, Figment. Wow. At Awesome Tweet, this Figment is like when you ask your uncle to play Santa at the Christmas <laughs> Eve party. <laughs> Blasphemy. I love him. I think he the last for me. Me and the one person in this studio that went to Figment loved it. <laughs> that is, you gotta admit, that's an unfortunate photo. Yeah, I, I get it. All right. It's fine. Whatever. Thank God, because we have to get to this game now. Although first I have, do it. I have something else I have to Oh yeah, uh, Austin's here, so we have to do this. This week on Nintendo Switch, let's see what you can buy. Uh, Super Demario Brothers Wondrous. <laughs> it's wondrous. <laughs> there you go. Hope that was worth it. All right, we're going to take a commercial break. When we come back, I'm going to be kidnapped. <laughs> Shut up, Joe! <laughs>
Do you hate thinking about absolutely anything when you arrive on a vacation? Well, get ready to pull some of that Disney magic out of the ground this summer with an unforgettable new package, the Disney Mining Plan. Yes, you can add a little excavated magic to your vacation for a limited time only with this amazing opportunity to hunt for treasures while helping raise some of our construction areas. Everyone in the party, ages three and over, will get to spend a day mining in some of the most magical areas of the vacation kingdom of the world, with mine boss Tiana encouraging guests to dig a little deeper, and each guest will receive the following during their stay. One precious metal, one precious stone, one valuable rock or mineral, and one resort refillable mining bucket. Some important notes. Guests ages three to nine must work in the little miners area for safety. Lightning Lane access will be provided to one of our mining attractions upon completion of an eight hour shift. These include the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, or the Seas with Nemo and Friends. Offer is null and void if any of the little miners attempt to unionize during their shift or you engage in any bad mining practices. Bitcoin mining is excluded from this offer. Plan must be purchased for entire length of stay and for the entire party in advance, even if a guest may die in a mining accident mid-vacation. All ore is non-transferable between party members. When calling the book, be sure to ask about our additional packages, such as the Disney Whining Plan, which is not to be confused with the Disney Whining Plan, which is often booked by members of the Disney online community. The Disney Mining Plan. Pick it up today by calling Break Our Ground Vacations. The Galactic Star Cruiser may be a thing of the past, but don't worry, Disney executives will be fine. It turns out you can make more money with a flop than an actual hit. And in that vein, Disney is proud to announce a new joint venture with the legendary Mel Brooks. Spaceballs, the hotel! Take a Mercedes Cruiser up to the Balsion Luxury Starliner for the immersive two-day experience of a lifetime. Be surrounded by fellow assholes as you become a part of the story. How many assholes we got on this ship anyhow? Yo! Maybe you'll even need to provide a special code to a secret operative. So the combination is one, two, three, four, five. Join in a bridge ops training session. Keep firing, uh assholes! Practice using your Schwartz and the privacy of your room. Interact with not the characters you love from the film, but their stunt doubles. You can enjoy an intergalactic buffet that'll make your mouth water. Dine on all you care to enjoy jams, leftover blue shrimp, and pizza. There's even a self-service Mr. Coffee station located next to Mr. Radar. In the evening, enjoy an out-of-this-world dinner show adventure. And stop by the subpar lounge for a refreshing can of Perrier. Shop our exclusive merchandise in our gift shop on board. Space balls the breakfast cereal. Space balls the flamethrower. <laughs> that kids love this. One. Every luxurious cabin aboard the Balsion is equipped with a state-of-the-art TV and VCR, so you can fast forward to the good parts. There's enough room in these spacious accommodations for you and your father's, brother's, nephew's, cousin's former roommate. What's that make us? Absolutely nothing. And don't worry about anything disturbing you. We've disabled the virgin alarm so that everyone can get a good night's sleep. Enjoy an afternoon excursion to the planet Druidia after getting beamed by Snotty. It was wonderful. And once there, enjoy over two attractions and lots of empty, sterile space. And if you want to upgrade to the ultimate experience, then go to Plaid with a VIP tour guided experience upgrade. They've gone to Plaid. Spaceballs, the hotel. Coming only to the Walt Disney World Resort in the search for more money. There's 104 days of summer vacation and school came along just to end it. The annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Like maybe building a rocket or fighting a mummy or climbing up the Eiffel Tower. Discovering something that doesn't exist or giving a monkey a shower. 
Serpent tidal waves creating nanobots are located in Frankenstein's brain. Finding a dodo bird, painting a continent, or driving her sister insane. As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. Today's caper is bankrolled by Be Our Guest Vacations. Book your next trip to Disney destinations around the world at BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WDWNT. And also by viewers like you through the WDWNT Interglobe Society or WIGS. Join today at Patreon.com slash WDWNT. All these people want to know, where in the world is Tom Corlett? recruits, Nick Lo Cicero. Hey there, gumshoes. How y'all doing tonight? Yeah, you ready to play some Where in the World is Tom Corliss? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we have a lot to cover here today. So, you know, why don't we hear from the chief? Chief. All right, detectives. Our villain, Annie Mae Tronic, is an animatronic cowgirl with a screw loose. She was part of the original great movie ride design until she was replaced with live actors. Now, she wants to replace people all over Disney with animatronics. And what better way to start than with Disney fan and buckaroo Tom Corliss. On the morning of September 14th, Annie Mae Tronic trudged into the offices of WW News Today, the worldwide leader in Disney Parks News, where she spotted none other than Cowpoke Corliss himself, her intended target. Well, Annie Mae Tronic swung those saloon doors open to Studio 7 at the WWNT Studios in Celebration, and Tom said, what are you doing here? And she said, I'm Annie Mae Tronic. And he said, animatronics? I love animatronics. And she said, you're not going to love me as a tumbleweed rolled by. She said, you're coming with me. And Tom said, but why would I go with you? I love animatronics, but I don't know you like that. She said, well, you're about to know me like that because you're going to come with me. I'm going to kidnap you. And Tom said, that doesn't sound good at all. And she said, I've got an honest review for you. You stink. And Tom said, that doesn't sound very nice. She said, well, you're going to come with me whether you like it or not. And then, well, she got real angry and Tom looked at her with his steely eyes, and then she looked back with her steely eyes, and he said, uh-oh, there's only room for one of us in this here studio. And Animatronic said, well, I got a lasso, and all you got is gelatoni. Chief. Oh. <laughs> Nick's coming. No. Right. Where were we? <laughs> oh, yes. Animatronic lassoed Tom and rolled him out the door. Now, sleuths. It's up to you to find Tom Corliss. All right. Thanks, Chief. All right, Gumshoes, what we're going to do is start you off with 50 core bucks each, all right? How about that? 
Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more core bucks. The two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. All right. All right, so let's get on with our first. Hey, do you guys hear something? I think it's coming from the alley out there. You know, hold on, gumshoes. Um, I, I think that's Rob Capella. Rob Capella, let me go check, see what he wants. there, Rob Cabela. How you doing? Hey, Nick. I, I, I got a confession to make. Like, here on the show? Uh, do, do you want me to get a priest? No, 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 not, not like that. Not like that. I, I, heard, I heard what the chief said, and I, I feel guilty. Oh, come on. You, you don't have anything to feel guilty about. The, uh, in fact, this kind of stuff has been happening a lot around here lately. Um, that's... You know, you, you couldn't have stopped that kidnapping. That's the thing, Nick, though. I, I saw it all happen, and I could have stopped it. I saw that rootin' tuna Root and tootin' animatronic ruffle up Tom's feathers and he lasted them right out the door. But I didn't stop him because I thought Tom was into some sort of great movie ride role play and I, I didn't want to mess up the Anubis scene. Well, well, you see here, I'm more of a gangster guy, see? Yeah. But listen, I'm ready to help now. I overheard some clues as where Annie was headed to, uh, to go next. So I wrote it down in a song if you want me to play it. Yeah, go ahead, by all means, all take right. it away. They went to a show inside the studio. This theater changed throughout the years. You could be a superstar, sing well, and you'd go far. Both of those shows disappeared. Back in 1999, you see this guy dug live. This fever dream was out of sight. Now in this show, we all sing, and there's a queen and not a king. Good luck, I hope you get it right. All right, Rob Capella. Love that little ditty. All right. Thanks, Rob Capella. Now, Gumshoes, where in Hollywood Studios did Animatronic take Tom? Was it Beauty and the Beast live on stage, the first time in forever Frozen sing-along celebration, or Indiana Jones' epic stunt spectacular? Now, remember the clues we heard. Shows have changed in the theater throughout the years. You could play a part, be a superstar or sing, Doug Live, and now we all sing with a queen. All right, Claire, which one do you think it was? What do you got? Frozen. Frozen? All right, let's check the other contestants. Uh, ben? Frozen as well, and Dave, Frozen. Uh, neither of you wrote it out completely, so no, I'm nah, just kidding. <laughs> you all got it right. All right, good job to everyone. It is Frozen. All right, excellent job there with that one. Now, can you believe oh, what man, was I, going it on seems the like other I keep day? Getting, do you guys hear something? I, I, I saw I like maybe. Tiffany other let's, day let's at a karate a match, and she was wearing slingbacks. Who wears slingbacks to a karate match? I mean, honestly, where do you think we are in like Hollywood studios? I swear to Dick, got a bass are gonna go all the way this year. Uh, like seriously, again about the bears? I swear, you think we're a sports bar instead of a place for intersecting travelers to meet and share epic tales of food and drink? Oh. You want to talk about travelers? Did you see those two that were in here a little bit ago? Do you think they were in search of the fabled seven cities of gold? Uh, but, uh, God, uh, like, that wouldn't explain the outfits, though. Like, what even was that? A cosplay outfit from the worst dressed list? Yeah, and the cowgirl. Ew, seriously, who wears that? What do you think this is? hoop de doo review? As if we're so much better than them. Uh, hoop only has, like, what? Uh, a sangria? We have a flight of four different house-made ones. A flight? Now I know you're being modest. We got a whole university dedicated to sangria. Oh. My. God. All this talk of sangria is making me hungry. Did you mean thirsty? No, silly. Duh. We're beer taps. We don't get thirsty. Like, everyone knows that. Now, did you want the house-made guac or... Did you want to go inside for some tapas? Um, I can't believe you right now. It's pronounced tapas. 
Uh, how dare you? You are a tape ass. Your mom's a tape ass. You, you tell me that I'm a tape ass? How t I can't with the words. No, you're All a right. tape well, ass. Well, this is unknown. You're a tape ass. Maybe, may, may, maybe we shouldn't have gone and listened in on that. I don't know. All right, Gumshoes. Which restaurant was Annie traveling through? Was it Three Bridges Bar and Grill, Rick's Lounge, or Dahlia Lounge? All right, remember the clues on this one? We heard a place for intersecting travelers, fabled seven cities of gold, four housemade sangrias, and a sangria university. On a side note, Sabrina and I will be hosting Liquid Magic at the Sangria <laughs> University next week, I think. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, Claire, what is your answer on this one? I forgot how to spell it, but Dahlia. Me too. <laughs> da Dahlia. All right. Ben? I said Dahlia. Dahlia. And Dave? Went with the intersection. Went with three bridges. The correct answer is... Three bridges. <laughs> you got it right, Dave. It was the intersection. All right, very good, Dave. You got some points there. Now, whoa, whoa what's going on here? Are these, are these bubbles? I love bubbles. I wish they would come closer to me so I can hot one. Oh, oh. Hey, Nick, over here. Huh, what? Where? Look at this, it's, it's Diver Debbie. <laughs> Hi, Diver Debbie, what do we owe the honor? <laughs> I love Diver Debbie. Well, I was swimming in this beautiful habitat that has been designed by marine scientists when I see this hook floating down into the water. A hook in an aquarium? That's not good. No, with nearly 2,000 sea creatures in here, that's really dangerous. So what did you do? Well, I pulled on the hook, felt a tug, and I see this cowgirl sitting at a table trying to reel me in. Annie! I can't wait to hear what she said. Oh, oh! She said she wanted to replace me with an animatronic. An animatronic in enough water to fill 54 Olympic-sized swimming pools? Talk about a shocking idea. Clearly, she's already started a short circuit. How'd you get away? The server dropped the check and they ran. I guess they left me on the hook for that, too. All right, gumshoes. Where was Annie fishing for trouble? Was it Coral Reef Restaurant, The Seas with Nemo and Friends, or was it Turtle Talk with Crush? Remember the clues we heard. Habitat that's been designed by marine scientists, nearly 2,000 sea creatures, sitting at one of the tables, and enough water to fill 54 Olympic-sized swimming pools. All right, Claire, what'd you got? Coral Reef Restaurant. Coral Reef, all right. Ben, how about you? I said the seas. The seas with Nemo, and finally, Dave? I went with the seas. The seas, all right, the correct answer is Coral Reef Restaurant. <laughs> all right. It's doing a great, oh. Ooh, that means it's time for the lightning round. All right, contestants, grab your buzzers. We're going to give you a chance to win some extra core bucks here. We ask questions, you answer, look at these flit. Each question is worth 10 core bucks, and they're all questions about things found in or around Epcot. Ring in as soon as you know the answer, and I will call on you. All right, here's the first one. That cantankerous cowgirl, Annie Matronic, is headed to a location where she could replace a cast member 
giving a one hour backstage tour of an attraction that features aquaponics system combining height. All right, Ben. Living with the land. I didn't even give the choices. Can you ring in early? <laughs> Does he know what it is? I living didn't, sorry, the, I didn't hear him. Living with the land. So, no, we're looking for a different answer. <laughs> so, the, the, this is a uh, cast member giving a one hour backstage tour of an attraction that features aquaponics system combining hydroponics and aquaculture with fish. Is it the behind the scenes Epcot Seas adventure? Is it dive, oh, sorry, is it behind the scenes? Is it Epcot Seas Adventure Dive Quest, or is it Journey of Water inspired by Moana? Dave. Behind the Seeds. It is Behind the Seeds, yes. 10 points. <laughs> All right. So it is multiple choice, so hold, on, hold your buzzing, and uh, you, we you get some choices here. Uh, Annie May has a mind to replace a cast member whose responsibilities include answering questions and distributing complimentary scavenger hunt booklets featuring a fan favorite Pixar character. Is it Awesome Planet, Gateway Gifts, or Sea Base? Claire. Gateway Gifts. Gateway Gifts, was that? Yeah. All right, no, that is incorrect. Okay. Anyone else? Dave or Ben? Can you repeat them? <laughs> uh, and Annie May is replacing a cast member whose responsibilities include answering questions, distributing complimentary scavenger books, featuring fan favorite Pixar character. Is it Awesome Planet or Sea Base? Dave. Awesome planet. That is incorrect. <laughs> ben, you want to take a stab at it? <laughs> the last one. Sea <laughs> Yes, 10 points. <laughs> Question three, by hook or crook, <clears throat> Annie May is determined to replace all the cast members at an attraction that originally featured only one maximum intensity version until too many guests reported issues with motion sickness <laughs> due to the centrifuge. Is it Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, Mission Space, or Test Track? Dave. Mission Space. You got it, 10 points for Dave. Nick, my office. Coming, Chief Gumshoes, I'll be right back. Whoa, uh, Chief, uh, what's going on, is, is that? Lava, yes, it's lava, get up here. <sighs> Oh, 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 wow, this is, this is quite cozy. Uh, what, what's going on? How's it going? Well, uh, how's it going? It's a little warm, wouldn't you say, Nick? Well, yeah, it's probably the uh, lava in here making it warm. Yes, I Oof. thought you might have some ideas to help us get rid of that. Yeah, I mean, have you tried, uh, you know, just... Telling that... our home audience how they could win a Where in the World is Tom Corliss t-shirt? Of course sure. I'll tell them. Live audience in the chat. If you would like to win a Where in the World is Tom Corliss t-shirt, simply put hashtag gumshoe in the chat right now, and we will select three winners live on the show tonight. Um, actually, I was going to ask if you uh, asked them to stop. Just ask the lava to stop? Yeah, the lava. Uh, Try excuse it. Excuse me, Mr. Lava or Miss Lava. Uh, do you mind receding? Okay. I can't believe it had its own theme song. I, I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> of course it worked. Uh, Lava has feelings too, Chief. You gotta know that. You know, it probably has a dream that the hopes will come true. Uh, yeah, well, that, that's fine, Nick. Can I, can I, can I, can I go? Yes, now, yes, go, please. All right. <laughs> 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 All right. I had to get my badge back too, yeah. Uh, all right, <laughs> I dropped it in the lava. <laughs> all right, contestants, now that that crisis is averted, let's get back to the game. I've heard some clues were left in the alleyway, so let's check out your detective skills, why don't we? All right, that was quick. You guys got to the alley. All right, nice <laughs> job. That was your first uh, detective win right there, find the alleyway. All right, 
Everybody uh, has a suitcase in front of them, right? You all got your suitcase? Very good. All right. Now, you notice all those suitcases have that, that little uh, zipper with the green sticker on it. Note that. Don't touch it. <laughs> Just note it. I didn't say touch it. All right. You found your... All right. Don't touch. Stop. Stop zippering your zipper. Do you find your green? Do you find the zipper with the green? Yeah, yours is hidden. That was tricky. <laughs> All right, now each suitcase in front of you contains a costume piece from a location Annie Mae was spotted. When told to go, you are to unzip the suitcase, open it up, and you'll begin to search through it. Once you find the costume piece, uh, you are then to simply close the suitcase lid. No need to rezip it, okay? You'll know it's the correct piece because there's going to be a card attached to it, similar, similar to this, similar to that. You'll see a card with a clue written on it. Uh, all clues will be heard prior to the first person who uh, finishes uh, guessing. Then every I don't know. I don't got it. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll figure that part out when we get to it. We'll read the clues, and we'll tell you what got it. I don't even got it. All right. So you guys got it. You want to unzip, open, search, then close. You ready? On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Close, look at that. Lots of good stuff in there. You get to wear whatever you want for the second half of the show, too. Alright, looks like close. Alright, one, two, yep. You're really looking. Look to your left, maybe there's a matching piece. I don't know. You guys looking to see if you have uh, his clue? Did you find it? Yeah, there we go. Whew. That was, that was getting close. <laughs> I don't know if we picked the right recruits here. Um, <laughs> all right. Ben, you were first. You, I think you found, uh, you found your article of clothing. What is the word on your clue? Characters. All right, characters. The original character dine location for these characters was Restaurant Saurus. But that changed when this location opened in 2007. Keep that clue in mind. We're going to hear two more. Claire, what is your word? Restaurant. Restaurant. On this menu, you can find items throughout the day, such as Durban chicken, Simba waffles, and spit roasted herb chicken. And then I bet you, uh, uh, Dave, you have hotel. I do. It's you hotel. do. All right. I I knew that. I'm like I'm like Kornak. Uh, hotel, the original walkup, which had the same name, was located under Hotel Burduka, known in town for housing drivers. All right. So those are your three clues. Ben, do you know what restaurant we're talking about? Is it Tusker House? Is it Tiffin's? Or is it Yak and Yeti? I'll say Tusker House. You'll say Tusker House. <laughs> Tusker House is right. Nice job. All right, that is 10 points for Ben. Excellent job there. Ah, now, even though, oh, it looks like we're getting a phone call. Fortunately for us, though, the NTDA has intercepted one of Annie Mae's phone conversations. Let's see if we can listen in for a clue. Them gumshoes are just two whoops and a holler away from c-c-catching me. I'm trying to lay low and hide for a spell among a bunch of other animatronics. There's 45 of them around here, and I'm the only sage hen. I feel right at home, though, because this attraction was developed from a concept from the first ever human audio, audio, audio animatronic, which debuted at the 1964 New York World's Fair. I was originally going to hide in the atrium out front, but that idea wasn't with a hill of b- Beans, because ain't no animatronics out there.
Interesting phone call there. Now you each get to write down your answer here. It is um, multiple choice. So here you go. I reckon we've rattled her a bit, Gumshoes. Name the attraction where Annie Mae Tronic is hiding out. Is it Haunted Mansion? The Hall of Presidents? Or It's a Small World? Remember the clues we heard, 45 all-male animatronics, attraction developed from an idea that they viewed at the 1964 World's Fair, and the attraction has an atrium out front. All right, Claire, what do you think it is? The Hall of Presidents. By the Hall of Presidents. Presidents. All right, Ben, what about you? Hall of, Hall of Presidents. Hall of Presidents. And Dave? Hall, Hall of, of Presidents. Presidents, you all three are correct. It is the Hall of Presidents. Ten points for everybody. All right, right now Dave holds the lead with 100 points. Ben and Claire have 80. All right, everyone, we just received word that Animatronic hightailed it out of the Hall of Presidents. So let's pick up the chase. The chase! All right, pick up those buzzers and try to be the first to hit that button. First one to get the answer correct gets the points. Here we go. As she continues to hide among fellow audio animatronics, Annie Mae moseyed on over to the attraction that was originally featured at Disneyland and was not intended for the Magic Kingdom. That is until Guest the Man brought an abridged version to Florida. Unlike other versions of this attraction around the world, there is no restaurant attached to it. That's just fine for Annie Mae Tronic because robots don't chow down on food. Is it Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room? Is it Jungle Cruise? Or is it Pirates of the Caribbean? Claire? Pirates of the Caribbean. It is Pirates of the Caribbean. Good job. All right, let's follow this chase. Robots might not need food, but they do need fuel. Annie is fixing up the fuel at an opening day attraction where guests can take a spin in a gas-powered car. Along the way, guests can hear announcements from legendary broadcaster Tom Carnegie. Is it Autopia, Tomorrowland Speedway, or Tomorrowland Transit Authority? Claire? Tomorrowland uh, Speedway. Tomorrowland Speedway is correct. <laughs> All right, following that chase here, we just got word that Animatronic cut a path to a merchandise location to fetch mouse ears as a way to blend in with the crowd. She took Tom to the only location in Magic Kingdom that currently features on-site embroidery. Is it Curtain Call Collectibles, The Chapeau, or Emporium? Dave. The Chapeau. The Chapeau is wrong. All right. Yep. Claire? Curtain call collector. It is curtain call. Yes, 10 points for Claire. All right, gumshoes. Looks like Annie just skedaddled from the Magic Kingdom. She's headed over to the Ticket and Transportation Center. What? What? Okay, she took Tom, and was that Tom? Like, he must be close, right? If we can hear him? This is great, we're closing in on him, I love it. You, you know how to get Tom to speak up. Why don't we just say the wrong names of attractions? We'll find him so easily, he'll just start yelling at us. All right. Uh, she took Tom, he, I thought he was going to correct me earlier today, because I did say Disney's California Adventure. He was probably really wanting to hit me for that one. She took Tom and hopped aboard a newly green ferry boat that is also used for the fairy tale fireworks cruises. It was originally named for the Kingdom Queen, but was later renamed in honor of a man Walt Disney hired to oversee the construction at Walt Disney World. Which ferry boat did they board? Was it Admiral Joe Fowler? Was it General Joe Potter? Or was it the Richard F. Irvine? Dave. Apple Joe Fowler. That is not correct. Ben. Irvine. That is not correct. <laughs> Potter? Claire. <laughs> there you go. The Potter? It is. <laughs> 10 points for Claire. Not that Potter, Rob Cavella. Rob Cavella. Oh, with her accent. 
Yes. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. All right, Gumshoes, it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you're willing to risk. You can risk zero, 10, 20, 30, 40, or even 50 core bucks. You have wager cards in front of you. Please take the one you want to wager and put it face down in front of you on your podium. If you answer the next question correctly, we'll add it to your score. If you get it wrong, we'll subtract it. We believe Animatronic to be headed to a recreational-based location. If you know a lot about those locations, you might want to make your wager a little bit more. Only two of you can go on to the next round. Please take a moment to think about your selection, then make your wager. How much you gonna risk? 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 All right, hopefully everybody got their wager. Um, let's start with uh, Claire. Claire, what is your answer? No, uh, Wait. I, where is the question? Right here. Yeah. You know what? That would be a great Wait, idea. <clears throat> She's been on such a roll, I thought she was going to know it anyway. I know, right? I, I, I was so excited to get to the wagers. But that probably is a good idea. You guys want a question? All right. Gumshoes, we've just received word. Oh, this is good that we're reading this. I didn't, yeah. <laughs> Animatronic hopped on the bus from the TTC and has taken Tom to a water-based recreation location. Legend has it that this location experienced extreme weather that wreaked havoc on what was once a tropical paradise. It boasts a water coaster that is propelled by powerful water jets, taking guests on a wild ride through both sudden drops and uphill climbs. All right, now you can write down your answer. <laughs> Probably easier with a question. I'll take some music. All right, give you enough time for that. Claire, what is your answer? Typhoon Lagoon. Typhoon Lagoon is correct. I don't know what I said. How many, how many, how many core bucks did you wager? What? Sorry? How many core bucks did you wager? Uh, 30. I put it in the corner. 30. Okay. We'll add 30 to your score. Ben, what was your answer? Typhoon Lagoon. Typhoon Lagoon as well, and you wagered? 50. 50, all right. <laughs> Brings you up to 130, and Dave, what do you got? Nothing. No, <laughs> how much did you wager? 40. 40, okay, that brings you down to 60, okay. All right, excellent job, gumshoes, but you know what? We're gonna have to eliminate one of you. And uh, with 60 points, uh, that's going to have to be Dave. Dave, thank you for playing. Oh, that animatronic, slick as a whistle. You are a great detective, though, Dave. Um, our friends at VR Guest Vacations have assembled a nice package for you. Uh, Chief's going to tell you all about it. Chief? It's the official VR Guest Vacations travel kit and includes a bucket hat water bottle, and lanyard. You will also receive three months of Unlocked Magic absolutely free. Thank you for all your great work on this case. All right. Nice job, Dave. All right, contestants, let's uh, go ahead and swim on over to Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park. If everybody had an ocean across the USA, Everybody be surfing like California. I'm loving wearing the baggy. So rock symbols do a bushy, bushy blonde hairdo. Surfing USA. All 
All right, it is time for contestants to play Lou Warrant Crook. You guys have to find the Lou out here. You got to find the, the what? Chief. Chief. Oh, talk to the Chief. Is he explaining this? Excellent. All right, Chief, you explain this. I, I don't know. You probably do better than I can. Now, there are 15 places at Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park where you might find Animatronic, Tom, or the Warrant. Let's look at a few of them. First up, we have the Beachcomber Shacks. Guests can upgrade their day by booking one of these private shaded areas with comfortable seating, a cooler, and even dedicated attendants on hand to help guests get the most out of their day. Could Animatronic be hiding out there in style? Next, Animatronic may get the gnarly idea to take Tom to the Typhoon Lagoon surf pool. Guests can experience the drama of six-foot swells at North America's largest wave pool, which is also available before or after hours for private parties looking to hang 10. Can you catch a crook at the Water Wonderland Catch a Kitty Creek? Kids can explore many water slides, splash in a cave with a waterfall, and take aim with a water cannon aboard the leaky tugboat SS Squirt. Finally, is it possible that Animatronic stashed Tom in the iconic Miss Tilly? Originally a shrimping boat, Miss Tilly got caught up in a hurricane and landed on top of Mount Mayday. Today, guests can see water erupting from her smokestack when volcanic activity starts rumbling within the mountain. Now, gum shoes. Let's not let Animatronic slip slide away. Use every drop of energy you have to stop the deluge of crime and send the crook downriver to security. All right, we'll do, Chief. All right, contestants, you know how to do this. You got to find the loot, warrant, and crook in that order. They are hidden somewhere out here um, on this board. Um, you, I think, yeah, Claire, Claire has more points, right? Claire, yeah, so Claire, <laughs> you're going to get to go first. You're going to get to guess the location here. If you find the loot, warrant, or the crook, you get to keep guessing until you don't find one of those things. But you have to find it in those order, in yeah. that order, okay? So where would you like to look first? Uh, Castaway Creek. All right, Castaway Creek. Let's see what's there. All right, unfortunately, nothing. That's not a loot warrant or a crook. Ben? Uh, let's try a surf pool. All right, let's check the surf pool, see if we can find anything. Nope, just, uh, just walking across there. Not much clearer. <laughs> Miss Tilly. Miss Tilly. That might be a good place to find a crook. Nope, nothing there as well. All right, we know we're everywhere where there's nothing, right? All right, Ben? Let's start up here. Game Let's playing Let's do balls. it. Game playing balls. No. Oof. Okay. Come on, gumshoes. Let's see what we can find. Claire? Uh, storm slides. All right, the slides. Which one? Storm slides. Storm, storm slides, slides here on the bottom. Oh, you found the loot. All right, that is step one. You found the loot. Okay. You just need the warrant and the crook. Yeah, okay. Then I would go Happy Landings ice cream. Happy Landings. Let's see what's there. That's a good place for them. Oh, uh, no, nothing there. All right, so the loot will flip back over. Remember where that is. Ben, you do need the loot first, so I don't know if you want to try to get that one or go for something else. I mean, yeah, there's not many places Yeah, let's do uh, storm slides. Yeah, so we'll do the storm slides. The loot. The loot. All right, and where's the warrant? low tide Louis. I don't think we've looked there yet. Let's see. Low tide Louis. The Louis. Low tide Louis. <laughs> see what's there. Oh, nothing. Oh, man, I got excited there. That delay was like, oh, there's something there. <laughs> All right, Claire, your turn. Okay, so let's go storm slide. Still storm time. <laughs> and Keyhole Falls. All right, Keyhole Falls is nothing. Oh, man. That warrant, that crook really hiding on you guys. All right, All Ben. Right, storm slides. Storm slides. Tom. Good place to start. To Adventure Falls. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to Adventure Falls. The oh, crook. The crook. All right. So, wrong order here. Um, now, if you, you know, you got, you got, you got to find them in the right order. So I don't know if you want to. Go ahead. You got to pick one more. Let's do the surf pool. The surf pool. All right. Smart play. Not giving it away. All right, so Claire, you know where the loot is. Mm -hmm. You know where the crook is. You know where a lot of stuff isn't. 
But did you remember where we didn't check yet? Yeah. All right. Uh, storm slides? Storm slides, all right. Tom. Um, let's go to, let's go surfing. Uh, slurping, sorry. Nothing. Oh, boy. All right. We'll turn him over, right. Ben. Storm slides. Guess who? <laughs> it's Tom. Beachcomber shacks? Yeah, I don't think we looked there yet, huh? The beachcomber shacks. Up Beach killer Beach shacks, shacks right up top. There you go. Oh, nothing. Oh, man. Okay, uh, All right, Storm Claire. Slides. Storm slides. Storm slides. Good place to start. <laughs> the um, uh, leaning palms. Leaning palms. That looks like a good place. Let's see if the warrant's there. Leaning palms. Yeah. Oh, oh, nothing. <laughs> All right. Then you've got it. Storm slides. Storm slides. All right, man. Catch a kitty creek. Catch a kitty creek. I have not where I want it. <laughs> oh, my. All right, clear. Storm slides? Yes. Still time. Remember where we haven't looked yet. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Humonga Kawabunga? Have we done that one? Humonga Kawabunga? Oh, Warren! <laughs> now, where was that crook? Uh, Misadventure Falls. Misadventure so Falls is the crook! <laughs> oh, yeah! She turned over everything. All right, all right, let's put that crook in, in jail. Hit the button! There you go. Yeah, you hit hard enough. Look at that. Putting that criminal away. All right, good job. Good job, stay right there. We gotta say goodbye to Ben. Ben, it's been great having you here. You're a fantastic <laughs> detective. Thank we appreciate you. your Thank services. You. Um, and I think we might have uh, a little prize pack for you. Uh, Chief, do you know anything about this? Great detective work is always a team effort, and we would like to reward you for being such a key player. That's why we're going to award you with these fantastic prizes, including a gift bag, Three months of Unlocked Magic, absolutely free. And this Where in the World is Tom Corliss t-shirt. Now, I swear my refrigerator had a cigarette, but that's a case for another day. Oh, boy. Be our guest. Loves to give stuff away for free. We love it, too. All right. All right. So, excellent job. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to be going on. The oh, we got a phone call. We got a phone call. Hold on. I think. Oh, here, here it is. All right. Hello? Yeah, no, I know I messed that part up. But that part too. No, I, I know. I got I understand. You oh, you want to talk to Claire? Claire, this is for you. Here, here you oh. go. Come here. Yeah. Here you go. Hello. How do you do, gumshoe? Sometimes you get and sometimes you get caught. And it turns out my boss didn't have the same hankering for animatronics the way I did and put on stabbing me in the back. Blamed it on some sort of blue sky project. So while you may think everything's above board and that you found Tom, you best hold your horses because you've been bamboozled. What you cowpokes didn't realize is that in all the uproar, I replaced Tom with an anime-tomic version. <laughs> Good luck finding where I stashed the real Tom around these parts, you yellow-bellied varmint. Yeehaw! I, I, I can't... I can't believe she did that. Let me. Oh, my God. This isn't Tom. This is... Look at the lever. We should have known. Tom doesn't have a dial like this. And this dial only goes up to six. If Tom had a dial, it'd go up to seven. We know that. So I, I don't know. I mean, Tom has just about as many crumbs, though. That's for sure. But I... I can't believe we got bamboozled like that. What? What? Gumshoe, you're going to have to help us find the real Tom. Yeah. All right. Why don't we do this after this short break? <laughs> On 
September the 10th, after years of waiting for our Lord and Savior to return to us, the portal opened and the spark was reignited. My people, he is risen! One little spark of inspiration. God is a purple God. He's at the heart of all creation. God is a purple God. Right at the start of everything that's new. One little spark lights up on you. A dream can be a dream come true. Our God is a purple God. Our God is a purple God. He reigns over the future world with imagination. Our God is a purple God. Our God is a purple God. He reigns over the future world with imagination. Our God. something that belongs to all of us. Support the third coming of Figment now at the Imageworks under the crystal pyramids of the Imagination Pavilion. Only in our holiest of lands, Epcot. What can I say except that you're welcome for the time You're welcome, I'm just an ordinary demi-guy What has two thumbs pulled up the sky When you were the idol, yay hi, this guy The night's got cold, who stole you? Fire from down below, you're looking at him, yo Do also I lasso with the sun To stretch your days and give you fun And also I harness the breeze you're welcome to fill your sails and shake your trees. So what can I say except you're welcome? Welcome back. I feel like a mighty wizard, like this thing. All right. Um, all right, first of all, we are going to announce the winners of the t-shirt. Uh, and so we have three winners here. We have Doug Rosenthal, Joe LaBelle, and JC Bobbitt. Wait, did I, what, did I say that wrong? Level? Level? I never said your last, shut up, Joe. All right. Uh, Claire, come on over here. All right, so. If you accomplish the, uh, the, the map yeah. at the end here, <laughs> you get a, a, a paid like, trip at Walt Disney World, a paid stay, right? <laughs> so I'm going to have you all behind the scenes here. These are your choices right here. Uh -huh. I think it's just the four of these. There's another paper there. Is there more choices? Oh, no, just the four of those. <laughs> all right, circle the one you'd like to stay at oh, okay. if you win tonight. Yeah, I know. I know, right? Look at the choices. That one, all right. Can't go wrong, right? No, the right, next one We're going to lock this up and put it in a safe. Safe? Safe place. All right. So, Claire, yes. you know the rules. You've heard it before, but I'm going to explain it a little bit again here. So we have some locations at Walt Disney World that we're going to give you, okay? You have a minute and a half to locate eight of those locations that we give you, okay? Now, in order to lo locate one of those, those locations, all right, say, say I said something and you thought it was like right there, right there. You put the staff right on that spot, all okay. right? And if it's right, this will light up. And I think you'll hear a yes sound. Do we have that? What, what did she hear? That. There you go. That means correct. 
All right. What does it do if it's wrong? Does it do anything? It does that. So that's how you know if it's wrong, right? You get two okay. chances with each one. All right, if you get one right, you got to come back to the compass, right? Okay. And I'll give you a new clue. You run out there, you find it, come back, so forth. All right, we'll do that eight times in a minute and a half. No problem, right? <laughs> and you got this. If you want to pass, you can pass at any time. Just say pass, come back to the compass. I'll give you another location to go after, OK? OK. Now, you had plenty of time to study this map. Does this look right to you? I mean, have you been around all these different places at Walt Disney World? No. No. OK. <laughs> have you ever flown over Walt Disney World and looked down like this? And no. Have you ever studied the Google map of Walt Disney World at home? A little bit, but not a little bit. All right, good enough. Here's your staff. <laughs> Let me go get your clues. I'll be right back. The chief does? I yeah. Oh, I thought the chief already did that. I'm sorry, chief. Go ahead. Gumshoe, here is a list of places that Tom might be. Kilimanjaro Safaris, the Hollywood Brown Derby, Dinosaur, the Friar's Nook, Electric Eel Game Room, Fuentes del Moro Feature Pool, Tangerine Cafe, Sandbar, Lottawada Lodge, La Vida Health Club, Fulton's General Store, and Happy Hound Kiosk. Nick, let's go to the map. You only need eight of them. All right, we got this. All right, the clock will start when you start heading out for your first one. Here is the first location. Okay. Dinosaur. I'm looking good. I'm looking good. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. In here, somewhere. Well, that's Animal Kingdom, right? <laughs> Uh, uh, then you go in, and then you go round, and then you go so. All right, come back, come back, come back, come back. All right, the Hollywood Brown Derby. That's in Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios is is here, um, and it's around. All right, come back, come back. All right. Lada Wada Lodge. <laughs> you can pass. 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 Kilimanjaro Safari. Oh. oh, that's Animal Kingdom. That's, that's, that's kind of at the back with, with the thing. All right, very good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come back. Fulton's General Store. Pass. Tangerine Cafe. Pass. The Friar's Nook. Friar's Nook. Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. No, that's not. Not Magic Kingdom. <laughs> All right. Ha Happy Hound Kiosk. <laughs> no, I did pass. Sandbar. Sandbar. That sounds beachy, isn't it? Is that like Typhoon Lagoon or something? There's a beach? No? I don't know. Pass. Oh. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, you got three of them. You got three of them. Three out of eight. Yeah, we... <laughs> Um, why don't you come show her the one she didn't find? Come. I found two! Oh. It's tough. I was, I was at the Brown Derby. <laughs> I, left, I left my Cobb salad for this. All right. Good to see you, Tom. No, get off the map. I got to run around. All right. What, so what you are we missing here? Brown Derby. The Brown Derby's at Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Hollywood Studios faces... Uh, this way, this is the entrance of the park. Oh. So blue is this is Hollywood Boulevard, Sunset, uh. Echo Lake. So. Lottawana Lodge. Lottawana Lodge is Blizzard Beach, right? There's the go mini golf, Blizzard Beach, right? Fulton's <laughs> General Store. Fulton's General Store is going to be <laughs> Riverside. Where are you What was that? Mike. Mike. Oh, my mic's not on. Cool. I was kidnapped. Of course I don't have a mic. <laughs> How about so, the yeah. ta Tangerine Cafe? But quick recap. Hollywood Boulevard, right? <laughs> Blizzard Beach over here. And then where were we? Riverside. Riverside. Is Fulton's is the store at Riverside. What else you got? Uh, Tangerine Cafe. Tangerine Cafe is? Epcot. Epcot, Epcot Morocco. Morocco. Happy Hound Kiosk. That's Marketplace at Disney Springs. The yes, Marketplace is. is this end. Oh. Down here. That. How about the sandbar? The sandbar is actually, you were looking for a beachy place. No, it's actually <laughs> not. It's actually Disney's Contemporary Resort. Why not? Is the sandbar. Electric Eel Game Room. Electric Eel Game Room is Old Key West? Yes. Right, yeah. Um, Old Key West is going to be, 
this one, right? Because th this is this gets super confusing back here, right? Because you might base it on the road, but Riverside, French Quarter, Old Key West, Saratoga. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> we should have saved this one for next week. Well, if we didn't read it yet, don't. Yeah. Did you read it? Oh, then? no. If you didn't read it, leave okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Chief said it. Oh, did? Yeah, then go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Oh, thanks, Eric. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what that's does true. Del Moro feature is that pool? Caribbean? Yes. <laughs> yeah, Caribbean Beach. Cool. I'm good at this. Uh, <laughs> Caribbean, wait, I'm lost now by Epcot, right? Is Caribbean? Well, Caribbean has the Skyliner, right? So that's got to be, uh, we're over here somewhere, right? Even I'm confused. Oh, here's Caribbean Beach. Because yeah. here's this ugly, this ugly, stupid thing's in the middle of it, the uh -huh. Riviera. But here's Caribbean Beach. It has two sides of the, of the water there. Yep. Yeah. And then La Vida Health Club. Is that Coronado? Yes. That's Coronado. Coronado Springs over. This one's easy because the three bridges. For those of you going to play in the future, the easiest way to tell Coronado is the three bridges are very visible right there, right? That one's nice and easy. So yeah, there you go. There we go. And then you would have heard, I'm blind now. But, yeah. Well, thank you, Claire. You were a great thank detective. You. No, thank you. Yeah, you did a fantastic job. We appreciate your, everybody what is waiting tonight. What does the chief think? We should find out. I always forget about the chief. Chief, come on. What do you think? I wasn't even here for rehearsal. <laughs> Tough break. You were so close to finding Tom. They really moved him around that map. But you are not leaving here empty-handed. We are awarding you the Be Our Guest Vacations gift bag. Three months of Unlocked Magic, absolutely free. A Where in the World is Tom Corliss t-shirt. And 10 core bucks for each point you scored tonight. Congratulations. And thanks to our friends at Be Our Guest Vacations. You sleuths at home can find them by going to BeOurGuestVacations.com slash WWNT. Once again, fantastic work, Gumshoe. And until next time, we salute you. All right. Thank you, Chief. You Good didn't guys. find me again. No, we no, I never found find me. you. No, I found me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I could have been killed again. Is this when we tell Rob to start playing? We all dance? Well, no, because we actually have to do oh. something real quick. We got to go read some super chats real oh, quick. Oh, okay, we can do We're that. We're gonna go read super chats, Thank and then we'll, then we'll dance. I'm, right. bring, I'm bringing enough. my staff with me. There you go. Josh Hopkins, 189, I'd rather stay at a Mel Brooks hotel than Disney. All right. I was during Space Bowls. Starts with the Inquisition. Uh, Sam Fritz, 189, Philadelphia over Minnesota, 34-28. Boo. Nicholas Petronella with the blank yeah. super chat. I love this thing. <laughs> Sam Fritz, 49. this show has gone on so long we bled into Sunday uh -huh. night football. The Jets already trailed the Cowboys 14-0 after one quarter. That's so good. I've been enjoying all the Jets memes this oh week, goodness. I will, so I will say, as a Dolphins fan. Pretty cool, $10. Are you all still there? It's over. Go home. Try it. Wow. There you go. Oh, that means the show's over. Oh, so all right. We have a post show coming up. If you're a Wigs member, thanks for watching. Where in the world is me? Do it, Rob Capello. Ba -ba 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 when the drinks around the world, bad to go to China. He's an internet reporter. Magic Kingdom to the spring I'll take you for a ride Friendship boat or on Skyliner Tell me where in the world is Tom Corliss Some space in Space Mountain Make some monorail sea double From the TTC to Epcot Or to Typhoon Lagoon Tis Ohana to Ohana And goes cruising through the jungle Tell me where in the world is Tom Corliss Look where to their way Then coaster to Launch Bay Port Orleans to Country Badger Every test track He'll whip up some Dole Whip Then he'll visit creepy old cribs Beachy blizzards during summer Then rope drop spaceship Earth Counts down to extinction He still cries about a rising Tell me where in the world is Tom Corliss. Saratoga to Bay Lake, then Fort Vigo, Watercraft, Omni to Trolley, then Boardwalk Old Key West, 
when he soars around the globe as he screen bends every nation he's a pin trading shark with a taste for color thing his itinerary is loaded with dining reservations tell me where in the world is tom corliss